Can you say disadvantage? No! <laughs> Can we do a joint persuasion roll? Sure, where's the like weed? Rock... <laughs> you know what joint persuasion rolls are, right? A group persuasion uh, uh, group roll? No! Tell me yeah. your secrets! <laughs> oh, so sure. Why is it called weed possession and not joint custody? Mm. <laughs> Do you want the actual answer or the um, t t TLDR answer? Bundle knows. Surprise me. Find me a guy who has all of his weave pre rolled in the joints, and I'll find you a guy that's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> um, unless he's just. Preparing for the sh for the music festival that's happening three days away. So this is all on the live stream now. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> I'll finish my thought. Damn it! <laughs> this is ready for that damn music festival. He's dumb. All right, I'm done. <laughs> anyway, take it away. Take it away, DM. Where's Dash? Oh, sorry. Where's my burrito? In my hand. Well, where's my burrito? In my hand. <laughs> you son of a... <laughs> Let me save this real quick. Thing. Well, except for that thing. I'll buy you a and... beer next time I see you. Good to know. I want... I want 50 years or... later, I remember <laughs> you! <laughs> For some reason, you I made, made that shitty snow throw yeah. back at the at the fool's keep. I remember. Uh, I think of Dale Cooper and D and D being one of the lizard folk, <clears throat> like I don't know, uh, uh, say um, uh, chameleon lizard folk with those weird buggy eyes. What do you think? I mean, if it was a lizard folk, you wouldn't be able to have that uh, that incredible bed hair. Welcome back to Twitch Plays Twin Peaks. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I play that. Okay, okay, I am ready. Sorry about that. Huzzah! I think Tom can probably get a tween. Right. Don't worry, I got this medicine check. check. No, Josh will give us bardic inspiration. No. Yeah, no. If someone's at disadvantage. Barbaric inspiration will reverse it. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. That's anyway. I don't want to hear you say barbaric inspiration ever again. Because every time you say it, something fucked up happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. You said you were about to say that, and then I got a nat one. <laughs> Apparently, we found our cursed phrase. <laughs> So we're gonna Bar put that in quotes Bar next. <laughs> yes. Dash says Barbara inspiration. Everyone else, oh no! <laughs> anyway, last time on the dynamics of good and evil. Talik, the Wabbit Paladin. Dashkin, the Barbarous Dragonborn. Ranya, the Halfling Druid. Bundle, the Tabaxi Ranger, and Mephisto Bard Feliana had set off to plunge the Undersider Pass in order to gain access to the Veiled Keep north of the Esgen River. The party hired a Drakenbjorn thief by the name of Belxis and Hygric, a Horkish, rain, a Horkish fighter, to guide them through the Dark Passage. Taking a chance turn in the depths, Dash again awakened a sunken Earth Maw and had to fight for their lives against the animated abomination. In the tussle, Feliana's leg was chomped by the aberration and twisted the wrong way around. In the ensuing mayhem, Rania accidentally whipped their, fa their, gar their guide Belxis across the face with a greatsword earning the ire of the, s of the Dark Rogue. The company decided to retreat for the meantime and find treatment for their bard compadre. We now rejoin the crew as they make their next move. Welcome back to the dynamics of good and evil. Wonderful. So yeah, it uh, is... Uh, it, you're only down there for about an hour and a half, so you come out and it's uh, <laughs> mid-morning. 
<laughs> uh, fog's still kind of heavy around the... Oh, yeah. Actually, you guys... No, wait. I told you guys you made it out, right? Yes. Yeah. Even over the well. Okay. You want me to roll something? Was, was there a trap? Yes, the rope is trapped. Roll. Yeah. Goodness. Also, was it Veliana supposed to roll for shock? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Thanks. Yeah. Constitution, you remind me. Constitution save. There we Wait. go. Wait. Uh, you Wait. don't know this is happening, Mr. Metagamer. Yeah. Con save. First, first roll of the dig, guys. <laughs> Guess what, guys? <laughs> There's oh, a. Shit. Okay, everyone else roll perception. <laughs> That's not much got advantage because, like, he's literally holding me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I am holding her. Do I get advantage because I'm holding her? Shit. Straight I perception. Straight perception. Oh, okay. oh never mind! Right. I was gonna give you disadvantage because you were too close. Oh. Oh, shit. Thirteen. Fifteen. Wait, fifteen. Yeah. Ron, you can't do math. The GM will use this to his advantage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Talek, you're kind of just distracted about how holy crap! Holy crap! Uh, I'm but to <clears throat> but Ranya, you just but Ranya, you're just looking at her and you you, you uh, she 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 can be fine. She can be fine. Dash and bundles, she goes a little limp. And, yeah. like, there's, like, some spittle draining out of her mouth. How does shock work in real life? Uh... Like, how does it work? Because I... Shock works. Uh, I think your body will start twitching, and your body temperature starts dropping. It slows down. How does that work for a T-flip? Like Tell me your secrets, WebMD. Um, it's sort of like an overdose of carbon dioxide. And... What? Oh, shit. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Now I can. We can now. I'll, so you didn't switch over the screens on the on the stream. Uh. So yeah. Basically, shock is like a. Oh, are you over... recording? Yeah, we're streaming. Okay, but are you also recording? Yes. Okay. Good. It, it, it's <laughs> it's it's it saves it saves the uh, a file to my computer also. Okay. Good. So what were you saying about shock? It's basically an overdose of carbon dioxide. It, your cells are deprived of oxygen a little bit. Oh. So it's... Can I... Okay, uh, can I yeah, roll... Yeah, I'm going to say she said she's in the midst of hemorrhagic shock. So... Wait. Excessive like bleeding... Uh, okay, so we have to stop the bleeding and, uh... uh oh, didn't we, like, make some service? What? She's bleeding internally. Well, no, Talek, Tal 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 like, rigged up something to cover the wound for now, because he got a good medical... Yeah, it's less that she's right. externally bleeding, and more that there's a massive bruise on the most of her left Internal. leg. Okay, uh, can I, uh, can I use a, can I use my healing spell to repair some of the blood vessels inside of her? Oh god, it's surgery simulator. Trying to, I'm not actually opening you up in order to do it. Make an intelligence check with disadvantage. I should have On your top of forehead. Mm, come on, roll buddy. That, roll that one, D13. That's the 13. You're kind of racking your brain, you... But even then, you're you're still not confident enough to think you could repair blood vessels solidly. 
what role can I make to figure out what to do to help in this situation? Intelligence? Um, actually, uh, Hygric comes up behind you and puts his hand, back of his hand on her forehead. It's like, hmm, hmm. Looks around, uh, peels the, the net off the cart. And he's like, he's like, hmm? Dash will put her in the cart and try to make sure she's stable and comfy. Alright, he goes to grab, like, the cart handles and starts pulling it along like a rickshaw. Raja makes a pillow out of his bare onesie for uh, Feliana and tries to elevate her foot a little bit. Do we know if there's doctors at Summerfeld? I know Arky's in that spindle wood, but he might be able to help, but I don't know if Baladins can help with this. Is it child that holds up his hand? Well, I was in military and did receive training about all this. She needs a Are you a combat team. medic? Uh, the. Talc should be, shouldn't he? I don't think he was. I don't think he rolled okay. that he was a sh uh, chariot man. All right, so he'd probably have a little bit of training in that, but not a lot. I think it was Talc who rolled chariot. Either way, he, I do remember yeah. he did it roll combat medic. You said that Felia is currently going to shock because she's not getting enough oxygen in her. Can she currently breathe? Yes, but her. So her body's still having a little blue screen moment. Even though she's oh, white. Okay. Uh, it, can I... Oh, I got, I I got know the symptoms of shock right here. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, let me look at my spells. Uh, I don't think there's anything we can do to help other than get her to a doctor. The main oh, symptom yeah. of shock is low I blood can... pressure. Other than symptoms include rapid shallow breathing, cold, mm. clammy skin, rapid weak, uh, weak pulse, dizziness, fainting, or weakness. Hmm. So we have to hire her blood pressure, but uh, we have to get her to a doctor. Let's get her to a doctor. Uh, I was hoping that I could do something, but I'm pretty sure that would require an arcana check, so I'm not going to bother. Yeah, we, we need to get her to a professional. I do this as my living doctor. Mm. All okay. right, uh, survival checks. Run your chat to forehead. Damn it, I was about to roll a survival check. <laughs> oh, that's a not great. Okay, you guys are kind of just following Hygric. Talek, you realize he turned west. I gotta, as soon as you like, got away from the mountains. Oh. oh. Holy shit, he's going to Red Point. Mm. Oh. Talek, say something to everybody. Everybody, keep your eyes and ears open. What? Why? Heading west to Red, uh, Red Point, is it? Wait, why are we going west? Because that's the closest way to get to, uh, that's the closest place that we can go for help. I'm asking Hygric, a.k.a. the DM. Hygric says nothing. Hygric can't do Where's Belxus? Belxus is falling behind the wagon. Just sort of, uh, she's got her, she's sort of like, got her head hung a little low, just trying to hide her f cloaked face. And you can tell she's still I got some that. gauze. Like, she's messing around with, like, some gauze and some netting in her hands. Do, do I notice... Do we notice this? Yeah, you guys can freely see this. Dashigan's gonna slightly nudge Rodia as they're walking. They should apologize. Hey, right, here's the plan. Everybody, take position. Position. Dashigan, take the Dash. left side of the cart. I'll take the right. And we'll keep your eyes on the sky and get in the wagon. Rania, keep your eye on Filiana. That's the orc's name. Oh, Hygric. Keep pulling. T we'll tell keep pulling. Why, are you, why are you telling us to keep our eyes on the sky? Rania, uh, Felicia Telek, we'll do as he goes back to taking care of uh, Feliana. Did, did Rania respond to Dash saying he should apologize to uh, the Dragonborn? Kinda. Uh, yeah, he says, um, uh, Talek interrupted that, and, uh, Rania kind of flashed on to that, thinking that the better option. Dash sighs and just stays close to the card and keeps an eye out. Rania whispers to da uh, um, uh, Sans <clears throat> speaks into Dash's head. I really don't know what to say to her, man. Like, I'm sorry I cut you with a sword. 
by accident. Dash is gonna try to quietly whisper in response. Sometimes sorry is all it takes. I'm pretty sure she doesn't give a shit about sorry, you man. You never know until you try. Doesn't I don't have enough do gold to fake... apologize to her. Just say you're sorry for accidentally hurting her. Simple as that. Yes, she may to try to kill me. Just try it. Arnie lets out a sigh and uh, kind of like jumps off the cart. Oh, uh, that bundle say something. Sorry, bundle. Go. Cool. No, no, that was it. No, so okay. I'll actually say it for the audience. Oh. Okay. We're not a podcast, man. They can see the thing. <clears throat> but anyway, the whole time that all that's happening, Bundle's quiet. He's not saying anything. He's not looking at anybody. He's more or less looking at the road, looking down, kind of uh, similar to how uh, Belxis is doing. Uh, uh, kind of, well, I guess, walking beside her. I'm going to roll okay. inside on that. I can only comfort one person at a time, okay? I don't know what's up with Bundle at all. Uh, <laughs> Typical Bundle. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> on your tap his forehead. I'm just going to be a ghost, too. Nope. Oh! Nope. Oh! Nope. <laughs> nope. And like, yeah. Oh my god, there's a giant cat walking next to us! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> First that one obsession. Okay, uh, uh, Talent can try to comfort Bundle or something. I don't know. God, what makes that worse is that's a double that one. Uh, yeah, I, can, uh, I can't do that. Uh, Didn't I get that one, Dave? Brian is currently walking away to go. Uh, all right. Uh, so you're kind of slowly. What can over. what can uh, Talek read on you, if anything, Bundle? With that role, I'd ask you. Well, since it's not nat 20, you can't exactly see what's going on with it in his head, but you can tell he is not acting like his usual self. Typically, he'd try to be towards the front, making sure everyone was um, not going to be taken aback by something coming in up, up ahead of them or have a more strategic placement. Right now, he's in the back. I don't care, I know, but... Don't give him a rough nudge. Get a hold of yourself, man. He didn't say anything. Even so, Talik would nudge Bundle with a give nod. Bundle a rough push to reality. Push him? <laughs> I thought he, he said you pushed him. I yeah. said I give Bundle a rough push. Alright. I'm trying to step you out of whatever funk you're in. Well, Bundle actually trips and falls over. <laughs> oh. Man down. <laughs> I could say if I could say anything, I would. Okay. If Riley's still in the cart, he'd throw a life preserver to him. Dash oh. sighs and goes to help Bundle up. He still get himself back in place. I see well, this once before. <clears throat> Talek, we're all kind of in low spirits right now. Having leaders trying, regret. Trying, trying to dictate, trying to turn this into like a military operation isn't the best idea. Thing. The rough truth ends up helping out a lot more. Well, bundle and gets bundle himself up. Rolls on this, Sorry. Rolling on this mistake, it's going to hurt him even more. I have to stand up and accept the fact that a mistake has happened. Our life was not lost. All we need to do is make sure we don't lose one. I just blame all this on me. I was the one who fell into the trap, so... I'll take the blame. And Dashkins, we know that. But Bundle here is, John, is having respect on his leadership. Bundle gets up, looks at both of you, and says to both of you, Shut up. Let's get to a damn doctor. Okay, Heigrick is act Heigrick actually stops the car for a second and gets up to check and fell. And as he's getting up, he looks for you, Rania. Rania is currently trying to awkwardly sidle up to Belk. 
he he waves you. Mm, mm, mm. I think Hagrid needs you, Rania. Rania takes this opportunity to uh, dash over, uh, rather uh, doing whatever Hagrid wants, rather than what he was told to do in the first place. Like, yes, yes. Avoiding your duty. He he claps his fist together and goes... Rania stares. Points the front points the front of the cart. Oh, I get it. He wants you to become a horse. (laughs) What? (laughs) Horse, Rania. Horse. Or do I need to roll insight for that? Oh, okay. Uh, 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 Rania nods and uh, uh, climbs over to the front, then leaps down to the position. I, I need someone to buckle me in. I won't have thumbs when I'm a horse. Ready the combat harness. <laughs> Go horse. Go horse first. You can, for- you. You Go can horse. forgo the bite bit, by the way. I don't need that thing in my mouth. Rania, go horse first, then we'll rig you up. Okay, Rania turns into a war horse. Ugh. Hey. Where do you turn into the war horse? Uh, in front of the cart, uh, and he kind of like backs into like between like the the thingies, the two arms. Rolling to see if the cart flips over. Oh God! God damn it! Yeah, yeah, I probably should have done that. Eh, the cart's fine. You, you bump it. And Hagrid's like, hmm. Well, yeah, Rania might want to do that a little bit away from the car from now on. Rania speaks into, uh, into Dashigan's head. You try moving around on four legs. It's not that hard to turn into a horse like five feet away from the car. It is hard to parallel park. We can bring the car to you anyway. Let's, let's get you rigged up. While you two are talking, Bundle's already rigged it up. God damn it. Cool. Yep. And then, uh, and then, uh, Hyger points to you, Bundle, and asks you to, to pilot. Like, hmm, hmm. I'm a, I am the horse. I don't need to be piloted. Pilot. <laughs> Rania mm. starts moving. Rania, just, uh, just let Hyger trust the half work. You whip me, I'm kicking the cart. Um, doesn't say anything. He gets onto the cart where the driver would be and just sits on the front. So, Ronnie starts moving. Hygric pulls out a blue leaf from his pouch belt and slowly spoons it into Feliana's <laughs> cheeks. Okay. Just slightly uh-huh. taps them. Mm-mm, mm-mm. And then he uh-huh. looks to you, Bundle, and then points northwest. Northwest. Oh, oh, I see. Tamin. Dumb bundle nods and starts heading towards the northwest. All Isn't right. That place? I, I don't think we're going here specifically. I think we're going here. I think we're going across the bridge at least. No, we're yeah. going here. Oh, oh, there. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure, oh, yeah, there. I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, that's an obvious outpost of some sort. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't see that because it was. It was uh, hidden by the grass of the land. It blended in. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the glass. The grass of the land. <laughs> okay, yeah, that is a little town. Okay. Rania keeps moving. Or the way, uh, why are we going through a giant patch of pot leaves? Actually, uh, this is where the runoff from the mountains is. As you enter, it's like very glay slate rock that's crumbled and almost like it's it was. Uh, anyone can roll a history check in this area. Dash with disadvantage. Everyone else, straight history check. Well, yeah, except, bad. except, except for uh, Fell, you automatically fail. Well, you didn't have the ability wow, to touch a sixteen. So. Yeah, I got a seventeen. Not bad. Okay. Everyone except Talek, you recognize a former <laughs> prison work camp when you see one. Like yeah, you can, yeah. you can see, you can see there were like little rails on the side where there were ones like chains spun through. And okay. now you say former dash immediately looks incredibly uneasy. 
Like, almost as if he's experienced something something similar to this once in his life. Hmm. I, I wonder why. I can turn into a horse. You're, you're a druid. I it's guess. kind of, yeah, it's kind of easy to do. Fel, as he puts the blue leaves inside your cheeks, you're, you're there's like a little subtle vibration in like in like your spine, just like little shot, like little shivers, just keeping you alive and awake. Like it's it's start it's starting to it's starting to reboot oh, you a little bit. It's cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me cocaine leaves. Jesus no, Christ. when I went into shock. Yeah. <laughs> I went into I went into the Windows Air. Thing. I feel like it's just a complete soldier code. mode. <laughs> Fell dot exe has stopped working. <laughs> run your pokes talc in the head. How about you run ahead and pull rank on whoever's there? You can't you're a horse. Poke him, you're a horse. And in if you poke head, him, he will in die. His head, I use the uh, silent speech. Now that makes more sense. Okay. Well, bundle looks to Hogrick. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I parking? He he keep he does the onward 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 motion. Run your uh, run your settlement or something nearby. Am I able to see? <laughs> uh, you you look up and you see just Hogrick the half orc looking on top of you, just like just. Hearing, making sure your eyes are open and just as Ronnie is walking he takes a, he takes this opportunity to uh, relieve himself as a horse oh god we don't need to know this yeah no one does <laughs> not, not really. the remember when I said remember when I talked about unnecessary details this is part of RP really part boo the yes, <clears throat> Mission to hit Ron, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> I guess horse. we just quietly keep going then. Yeah, after about an hour and a half, you eventually, uh, perception checks. I could have moved faster if I wanted to. That <clears throat> wouldn't be good for the injured person in the car. Okay, fair enough. 18, yay. 14. Damn it. 21. Italic, you just, you just, you just, Beside everyone, so it's like, ah, oh, crap! They're all in front of me. Uh, Dash, you're you're kind of concerned, so you got like kind of you got some sand in your eye. It's it's causing those tears to come out, and it's it's awful. Why why is this thing happening to me? <laughs> do, 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 do. Rania and Bundle. I'm not crying. I'm just there is my there is a village in the distance, like uh, tents. Hovels, uh, uh, something that looks kind of like a Quonset hut, but made completely of leather and bone, and like that's the biggest thing you can s structure you can see in this uh, village. But you do also just see uh, that most of every most of the signs of life are on the opposite end of the camp. So, but it's only a small camp. It's only about uh, half, it's only about, uh, 40 yards by 40 yards across. Hi, Greg, my sweet boy, you did it. <laughs> <clears throat> but you're still about a mile away, you're like on a hilltop, just seeing it in the distance. I don't even know Run your squints at, um, uh, the stuff up ahead, and... He kind of, uh, um, uh, he looks back at Bundle and speaks into his mind. Yeah, I think you can scout out what's ahead, man. I'm not exactly sure if these are the nice kind of tribal or the kind of tribal that would prefer to eat you. Bundle just says flatly, does it matter? I don't want Wait. to be eaten. What Does what matter? Rania uh, 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 speaks into Dashigan's head. I'm asking Bundle to be willing to go scout out the village to see if these are the kind of Wait, tribal there's a, that there's are a village. Da uh -huh. Dash looks towards where the village is now. You, you you see the village. Does the architecture look familiar to anything he's seen before? 
like what the what the inhabitants of this village might be. Those kind of indicators. The be the person who probably know the most is the one who's needs the attention. Ah, uh, that would, yeah. Given, I believe she knows what this area is called at least. Yep. Well, I, I was asking based on the fact that Dashkin is tribal. And has yeah, but you're from the yeah, yeah, but you're from the east. So fair enough. Okay, would Ronnie know anything region. about this village? Because this seems kind of close to what his uh, people are like. Not the whole bones motif. Roll, yeah, roll another history check, Ranya. Oh, lovely. Nope, nope. Uh -uh. Wood bundle, no. Really could use some hay right now. <laughs> Ranya starts nibbling at some clover by his feet. Keep Good moving, enough. Ranya. Keep walking. <laughs> Ranya, Ranya does a like snort and he starts moving again. Don't you snort at me, young man. What, yeah, okay, what, uh... What are you trying to say, Bundle? Go ahead, Bundle. I was gonna say with Bundle now. Or... Oh, you're from the north, so... Probably not. Y y you could, but don't, uh, disadvantage a history check. Alright. I'm not being mean. Spells in this form. Yeah, unlike me, you actually get a history check. I don't get shit. Hey, you? No, I don't. Neither <laughs> mine. This isn't a city. Can I give another history roll again? Uh, sure. Better. Okay, yeah. Talik, you know this is Lupland. Oh! <sighs> Wait, I thought Lupland was to the north. No, this entire green area is Lupland. Oh. Um, yeah, guys. Here you do. What? Shh, shh, shh. Oh, wait, what? Richard Atbird appears and says, Welcome to Lupland Park. Run, you start <laughs> moving forward. <laughs> oh, this is going to get really interesting really fast, isn't it, Ivrick? He, he's he's too busy texting, uh, Fell's breathing abilities by covering her mouth with his hand and see if she can breathe through her nostrils. Can I breathe? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like you choke a little bit. Like... Go, go, go. go. And he, he's anyone... got some very expansive hair on his hand. Oh, no! Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh, God! Why me? <laughs> Sheepish grin. Mm mm. Mm mm. This is what you get when you spend alone time. What? <laughs> anyway. Shut up, Rania. <laughs> Rania uh, has been moved the whole time. Alright, so eventually you get off the gray hilltop and you approach the village. And eventually some children take notice music. Oh, hey! Mammy! Mammy, dear! Dookie, dear! Here. And these bunch of r all these <laughs> red curly headed children in just tartan, just like wow, 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 like tartan with like le with like leather leader leader hosen, and uh, all of them have got husks of corn they're playing with. They're oh my just... god! <laughs> this is gonna be an experience. <laughs> these are like just standing trying to hold back all the laughter in them. <laughs> Are these tribal Danish? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, they're Loplanders. I think that's the best description we can come up. We're gonna get. They're Are they, they, they... <laughs> I'm so confused. Ronnie is a little bit wary of these these weird little these weird little children. Like, look, just because you made a mistake with some oysters. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Like, I'm just imagining horse with, like, shifty eyes. <laughs> yeah, shifty eyes. Christ. Runya, Do I as, uh, shifty Runya, eyes? as Runya passes one of the children, he kind of sniffs at him a little bit, like, not not half length, small child. D Dash so, is gonna bop uh, Runya a bit and say, be nice. Runya snorts. 
You also lit that up for fart. <laughs> I'm right behind you, dick! <laughs> I'm gonna sew that shut if you keep doing that right now. Let's have another one. Uh, perception check. <laughs> Damn, that nat one at the other end. Damn! That, that double nat 20. <laughs> and there it goes. Are you too busy farting? What a memento. <laughs> I'm guessing they're going into the private chat. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, you're currently approaching from the southeast corner of the village. You look to the northeast section of the village, and there is farmland, like, area where they've been farming. There's an ankylosaur doing, like, pulling, like, a till, like a mule. Okay. Well, Intelligence checks. That? For both of us? Yes. Can I rule from inside? Because I've seen dinosaurs before. Intelligence. Okay. Well, you with advantage. A 14. That's another nat 20. Yeah, both of you have been... Yeah, Dash, you're just impressed that... Wow. That these Luplanders tamed a goddamn dinosaur. <laughs> it's like using its tail like a till on, like, the land. Like, making rows for the corn and the wheat and the squash and everything. Damn, your nat rolls. Yeah, seriously. If I get another one, I'll reconnect to be safe. But yeah, so that's what you see in the northeast. And also, uh, you think you see a traditional individual, not someone with the, uh, someone with fairer hair and more, uh, uh, clergy-like in the distance, but you can't quite put your finger on it yet. You're still a bit far. Okay. okay. Like, there's one person who seems to stand out from this group that you can tell. Okay. Alright. Welcome back! Welcome back! Yay. So that's impressive. Indeed. Do you wish to share with the class? Dash points out the goddamn dinosaur. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Which dinosaur? <laughs> Talon gets to the mate, gets himself ready for combat. Dude, let me see this dinosaur. That is a tamed, god's damned dinosaur. What kind of dinosaur? It's an Ankylosaurus. A whatosaurus? One Thank second, you. I'm posting in the chat. Please do. I am a Stegosaurus. <laughs> Wait, Not is this going to be in BS or general? General. Okay. Safe Let's have picture. a look. Because you, you want to know the funny thing it's, about it's the, it's the It's dinosaur with the spiked ball tail. Ah, yes! Yes, yes oh, I love that, that one. one! Dash yes. is just going to comment. Those in general are not easy to tame. You want to like know what's fun? Now. Since Rania yes. has seen this creature, he now can turn into it. I I the guy's creature eating. Anyway. Bundle just says, I don't see where you guys are so impressed. I used to see those all the time. Rania looks Red at Brian him and transformed it. Run, I mean, uh, uh, Bundle, we, we, need to, we need to pay a visit to your homeland, man. Let, let, let DM speak now. Okay. I have things to say, occasionally. No, you don't. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> Twin Peaks Marathon is cancelled. No! <laughs> Good enough. No! <laughs> anyway, I don't think fight the dino. Aww. Oh, I love those things. What are they called? Ankylosaurus. He he literally just said it. I oh, want to fight it. Don't he fight it. It'd be like fighting. It's a it's cow. in the chat, Rania. Okay, don't, that's with a K. Don't fight the Ankylosaurus. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it, and, and, it's, and it's literally, it's doing like a mule's work, like using its tail to till the land into rows for corn, wheat, squash. I love it. Oh, Dash no, no. will also proceed to point out the one individual standing out from the rest. Bundle's already walking towards her. By the way, you spelled Ankylosaurus wrong. Shut up. No. <laughs> uh, okay, you're, you're just outside the village, and you, you park the cart, and uh, Bundle, like, just moves through the the ocean waves of 
little wild red haired, wild and dark and chestnut haired children. Like, well, hello, oh, dear yeah. daddy. Who are you? What's Chalindr- <laughs> Oh my god, that's Chalindrine 3. I won't be able to use it until. Will I even be able to change it? They're swarming like vultures. Keep them away. Keep them away. <laughs> I'll be nice, Talek. Rania speaks into their heads. Everyone touch the giant rabbit. God. Into the children's heads? Yes. Honey, you're gonna you're gonna stop. I know. <laughs> so bundle, as you get closer, you recognize this person. Rania speaks into the children's head. I am the god of horses. Feed me apples. You can only speak it into one person at a time. Mm, he does it to all of them in turn. Damn it! Nope. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow, a talking horse! <laughs> Feed me apples. But yes, uh, Feed me. Bundle. You recognize this person? You recognize this person. And and the then... guy who stole my choice. Bundle starts moving a little bit faster, like, who is this? <laughs> And as they turn around, it's Ged. Rania follows Bundle. Ged? Ged? Ged, Ged, Ged. Clumsy. Oh. Ged! Oh! Wait, oh! Here? He worships someone p- specific. Oh. oh, oh it's out. clumsy, dude! Oh, that means Kira's here. Gol- follower of Gol- Golov. Golov. Yeah. Golov. Uh, Golov. Yes. The God of Healing. Oh, yeah, sure. oh, there he is, Ged Libo. Runyon nibbles that Ged. Help, help us. He speaks. You're, you're still mind. outside the gate, man. Yeah. No, no, no. I followed. No, no, no. Bundle went over there alone, dude. Yeah. Oh. He won, it yeah, was you're being swarmed by kids. Wow, a oh. talking horse! Wow, 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 wow! <laughs> There's a couple on top of you. Just like. Dash is gonna, while Radia's being assaulted, Dash is gonna go and catch up with the bundle. Radia poops. No! Oh, my fertilizer! They're, they're, the man's just saved! Bundle moves over to Ged and and calls out his name. Ged? Ged Livo? In Surya, Nasor Yita. Oh? Hmm? Turns around. Oh, um, Bundley! Hel- hello! <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> ah, what brings you to Lapland? Last, last I heard, you were. Um, you had disappeared off to the set- settlement of Trat, yes. Uh, you, you were stayed there for quite a while. We did. Ah, yes, Cure was the star. She missed her favorite punching bag. Yes, she did. Ah. <laughs> um, <laughs> whenever he yeah. to see that this is Ged, he's going to call her. Holy shit, is that Ged? <laughs> you have to rule perception, my dude. I, I'm actively approaching. I'm saying whenever Dash is close enough. You to have to move through the swath of children first. Ronnie begins to try to eat one of the children's hair. <laughs> right. Yeah, Dash is gonna try to move through the swath of children to go see who Bundle's talking. Hager gets up and slaps slaps Ronnie on the hindquarters. Ronnie lets out a neigh and then he uh. Can- uh, starts moving forward very quickly. Ah! <laughs> no. Don't trample the children on ya! Not the children! Think of the children! Let me roll for them. Oh, Damn, God. they're actually amazingly dexterous. <laughs> Some of them actually cling on to you. Whee! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Ah, it's like leeches! Bundle. Ninja kid. Alright, they're left ladies, man. <laughs> Goddamn left ladies. They all get natural 20s. Right here, let Bundle speak. Uh, hi, how's it going, you friendly neighborhood cat man? 
Well, one of them. I, I, I have another who I find a, a bit more friendly, but that's mostly because I haven't gotten to know you quite yet. Yes, uh, I, I was just uh, uh, doing diplomacy with these fine, gentle ladies. He points out a, a bunch of people who you thought were men due to the amazing beards, but... <laughs> I knew it. Yes. <laughs> And they all got like, dwarves. like dark blonde, just... dark blonde, excessively braided. There's like beads and like bits of like artisanal leather woven they're in beautiful. at points. They're just tall dwarves. They're beautiful. Although I'm putting closer perfection, it's actually just their head hair. <laughs> they've, they've been woven over their face because it's so long and expansive. Jesus. These are wow. definitely dwarves. Wow. No, 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 no. <laughs> Lightly slaps your hand. <laughs> so funny. No, no, no. D don't ruin my diplomacy, man. I I've it's taken me three days to get this far. <laughs> <laughs> well, that being said, we actually have a rather pressing matter that you might have a, a bit of expertise on. Oh, I, I wasn't aware of any uh, commitments I had. Uh, new news to me. Um, follow me right this way. Uh, might need to mind the children. Yes, they can be quite, uh, excitable. As I do oh, notice. No. Yes, uh-huh. Oh, no. Run your oh, no. leave oh, no. the... Yes, we'll make them horse and me. Run, run your The horse is now halfway in into the... Trying to shake them. You know what? Actually, roll a dex check, uh, Rania. Really? <laughs> do it. Are you sure it's not acrobatics? Dex check. Dex check. Do it. Not great. Oh boy. Do it. You try and move into the village, but you catch the wagon on the pole that leads into the, the town. They have like a little welcome like gate, but you get it caught. It's like Rania begins to horse panic. Dash is gonna go up front over and have some trouble trying to catch up to you. And the kids they keep swarming. Back, you little monster! Back! Alex, save me! <laughs> Alex, save me! Aranya, they're just, me! He just sighs at the, seeing his compatriots. I'm not me. used to having children be this big. Above all this noise, you hear, Hi again! And me, the children cease and just stand at attention while this... This the one of the women who was being diplomacied with with a rather still impressive facial this accessory just holds her hands up and does the parting gesture and the children run away off to the the fields to she parted the Red Sea. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yes, you have to, she has to do that every once in a while, but it's uh, it's quite impressive, I have to say. Anyway, what? Um, come to the cart. We have a few people who are injured. A few? Oh, that's right, adventurers. Oh, should have expected this. Oh, okay. I, 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 he does the namaste to the group, and they nod curtly and concisely. He's like, um... He, he leaves them like a... A little velvet case, like here, here, and entertain yourselves. But I, I'll be back, and he just uh, lumbers off. You, dum, -de dum, -de dum. Does he trip on anything? I'm beside him. If he trips, I'm gonna catch him. No, he's he's striding like a madman. He like, okay, like okay. He's, he's doing, he's doing, he's uh, doing a walkway thing. Like, mm, 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 wait, mm. wait, what's going on? Sorry, I was talking to my dad. <laughs> he's striding. Professionally, <laughs> getting uh, Gad to come to the cart. Where's Belkis okay. in all this? 
Belxis is still hovering back outside the village. Like she's been she as soon as the kids gathered, she immediately took like ten steps back away from them. I don't blame her. Uh once Ged's seen to fell, Bundle's gonna try and go towards Belxis. Okay, well you escort him to the car and he immediately climbs up like <laughs> Okay, now he's climb up on the cart, okay. No, not bad. He uh, gets one of his foot caught. He's like, eh, eh, eh. But he eventually like, pulls it out after like three tries. Like, eh, there we go. I was, was about eh. to ask, did he need help? No, no, I see. Oh, gods! Uh, fellow, you are conscious and uh, sentient at this moment. But you're still like... You're still kind of feeling the after effects. Like, you get kind of a sugar high from all, like, the the adrenaline and just the shutdown you had briefly. It's just like a leak. Hey. Hi. Ooh, yeah, is... Just... He's going to run an investigation. He has one of my... Uh, he... He took one of my hair... Uh, one of my uh, strengths of my hair. I think he's trying to see just how... Badly, you got fucked up. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's inspecting the current situation. Uh, okay. Yeah, he rolls like, Good God, you got crushed and twisted. What the? Wait a minute. Barney speaks into Dashigan's head. Do I need, still need to be a horse right now? Dash shrugs. He's gay, the horse. He's like, What? Did, did she get. Caught in something like a this isn't the work of a bear trap, I don't think. Uh, it was almost a clam. Yeah, will try to, to describe the trap that Belxis Belxis will call out, It was an earth maw, and Ged's like, Huh, and you escaped. But then again, she did She did survive a drift globe, so I shouldn't be surprised by anything this woman does. Uh, okay, um, okay. Uh, he tenderly examines your foot without touching it that harshly. Like, he, he like, lifts it gently. Uh, he just takes two, his, his two index fingers and just lifts it to try and just examine the, 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 the wrong side and the right side. And like, okay, okay. And, uh, yeah, he still has a ginger touch. His, uh... Yeah. Okay, this is good. Ronnie this is trying good. to crane his head around so we can see. Yeah, uh, it, it's, it's, it's still a bit painful, the fact that he still to lift it that littlest bit, but it's not, like... It's not quite... It's, it's not, not quite needles people. in your veins. It's more like needles on your skin, like, ow, 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 ow. Like, ow. Yeah, it's not like there are. It's not like your blood cells are now made of needles, like it has been before. <laughs> yeah. Run your horse nuzzles Bell's face, making sure she's okay. You're still at the front of the cart. I, I moved. You're in a harness. You're attached to the cart. Okay. No. I have a very long neck. No. <laughs> ah, in aberration! Lights it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but Ged is like okay. Um, all right. I oh, ha, I haven't had been stri struck like this, but okay. Um, okay. Do all of you know how how goal of tributes work? No. What What is that? You know. Okay. How soon do you want her to be out, back up on her feet? I assume you want emergency prompt attention, like she she could possibly move within the next few days, or do you want her to yes. take the standard uh, medical treatment of it will be a, perhaps a month, maybe three, before she can walk properly without the aid of crutches and or a uh, a I lot just of wrapping. I just had I just suddenly had you, some uh, hardcore deja vu. Yeah. Uh, uh, Runya speaks into, uh, what was his name again? As soon yeah. as possible would be preferred, yes. Fellow says, soon. Okay, um... Head, uh, which god do we have to make tribute to, and what price do they ask for? Ah, the only god, Golib, of course. And... Hey. Runya squints at this. 
Which one was yeah, that what, again? What do we have to do? Um, well, in order to perform uh, a relatively medium advanced uh, healing magic and such, uh, Golov requires a tribute. Which, yeah. which, no, it can't be gold. It has to be more. That has to be either, like, a sealed contract in form of a favor. It has to be a a a, a, a decent magical item, preferably better because you know magic magic items are good for the gods and the ways they work. But uh, um, yes, unfortunately, the muff there was this certain organized anti lawful group that tried to give me. All the gold in the world, but unfortunately, Golov doesn't accept that. He wants tributes in the form of materials. They like the ma materialness. You, you, you know what I mean. It's like a, a gold. Gold only goes so far in the world. It's, it's more like the, the actions and the actual objects that are worth it. Run your speaks wow. into. Uh, God damn it! Every time. Well, if it's a favor, if it's a favor, I can do that, no problem. Uh, I think that might cut the cost, but unfortunately it'll need to be a favor and perhaps a uh, rare magical item? The we'll hold the book of symbology up over his head. Would this work? Uh, literature is nice. Uh, unfortunately, Golov's already, Golov already knows all the symbols. He decreed all the symbols we need to know in, in, our, in our sect. Dash taps his bracers. What about these? Hmm. Oh, not the bracers. So only Dash is offering up, eh? Okay. I mean, I can offer something, but I don't know if I can. I like we'll end up I'm a offering horse. the Ebony shield as well. How about the shield too? I feel like only one of us should get rid of our goodies. Wait, I have something. Yeah, tell the dash eight. And Ranya changes back into human. A needle mm -hmm. in my back. Ranya takes out his radiant thread. God damn it. This work anything? Hmm. Uh, he looks at the braces like, oh, those those could work. Defense is defense is always necessary in the land of healing. Ooh, what is this? It looks at the needle, and he takes it. Don't. I'm gonna roll a dex check for him. Oh shit! Oh boy! <laughs> what did this thing do again? Okay. It's well, a needle. Okay, so he takes it, and as. He like looks at it and it slips. Like, oh no! And oh, it, it falls out of the cart. And there's a child sunbathing right no! there. And it no! just pokes what them. The and he's like, ah, me armor. <laughs> and he's like, oh, sorry. And he just reaches down, picks it up off the ground. And he's like, oh, no, that was that interesting. Um, that needle causes very severe hallucinations to anyone that gets pricked by it. Ged looks over, what? Looks back down at the kid. He's got, like, rainbow foam coming out of his mouth. Like, ah, candy car. He's like, huh. Oh, no. Points at the rabbit. Easter. Can't blame oh, me Callie for that no, 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 no. Paul just says, can't blame me for that one. <laughs> no. I'm glad Bundle just kind of walked away from this. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks at that and looks like, hmm. This needle could be exquisite, my god. What the? Huh. Well, that, this, this would probably be enough. As he does. Is your god the god of again? Healing. Healing. Healing? Okay, so... Uh, he's Healing, vitality. In... Uh, Booze. So he's not interested in, um... Booze. <laughs> no, no, that's... Oh, my... God. No. That's right, you guys haven't discovered that tavern yet. Uh... Wait, what? <laughs> Another <Okay>. tavern? <laughs> so... 
He takes so he stands up in the cart and he jumps out the other side, away from the child, the the opposite end of the cart, and uh, he take he's wearing like an apron, like what looks like a belt apron combo, and he takes off the belt and he like shakes it out and as he sits on the ground it lifts up in like a pop-up book fashion and forms this leather and wood shrine the fuck with a little with a little clay bowl with a pearlescent teardrop emblazoned on it which is the symbol of Golov of course you gotta have the symbol of Golov and he takes the needle and he puts it in the little bowl he uh, reaches around to his like cheek pocket and like Russell's like, oh, okay, where is it? Where is it? I got it in somewhere. And he finally pulls out a little pouch, and then he reaches down to his uh, slippers and pulls out a match. He's like, all right, da -da -da. this opens up the pouch, sprinkles some uh, some gray, some salt and pepper looking stuff on top of the needle, and then he takes the match strikes it on the wood it lights and tosses it in the bowl and and instead of lighting on fire it sparkles like a crystal like it's this yeah. crystalline effect in the bowl <laughs> well uh, uh, appropriate since it was a glass needle and uh, he just mutters incoherently in in primordial and and after about 30 seconds the the crystalline stops like form the the effect stops like it's it's it looks like flames but instead of like orange and it looks like crystals and eventually the flames just harden and form and then collapse into nothingness inside the clay bowl and you say ah that should do it and then he just uh pushes down on the clay bowl and it collapses down, down, down until it's flat and it's just his his apron and belt combo again. He's like, da, 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 click, 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 there we go. All right. And he takes the apron and puts it on Fell. And he just, he lifts her up. So I need you to roll a con, con save at disadvantage briefly. Here we go. Here we go. This could only be worse. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Okay, I'm not going to make this too hard. So basically, as he's lifting you up, he he does his best, but he's, he's still accidentally, as he's moving you up to maneuver the thing on you, he conks your head on the side of the, on the, uh, of the wagon, and you just briefly pass out. It's like, oh, well, well, possibly better, I, I guess. And uh, and yeah. then he just... I don't know if I said this for Morgren before him, but he, Mr. Miyagi, claps his hands together and starts rubbing them <laughs> together again. And he lifts up the leg onto the side of the cart and he just starts moving it faster and faster and faster until that same crystalline outline appears around his hands and he maneuvers his hands around the foot and starts turning it slowly and slowly oh, God. and as he does the pitch slowly gets higher and higher of like the magic around the foot it just sounds slowly like a kettle it's just piping out at like 900 degrees and oh, it's, that looks it's, painful. Like, it's like and, and eventually he gets it right way and he keeps and then he takes his hands away rubs them together again and 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 again and, again, and until his his fingertips have this like spark sensation to them and he grips the foot and just massages it slow like slowly at weird. first and eventually the bruising starts to fade and fade and fade until eventually the sparking stops the glow starts to lose its luster 
and he massages faster and faster and faster to see if he can get all the bruising and blood and just overall unkempt look of the foot away. And finally, when he when it's almost gone, he lifts his hands just before the magic fades, and there's a slight and the the apron f- flutters a little bit as if like just a brief gust of wind had echoed under it and he's like whoo well ha. i didn't go i didn't abstain myself from the touch of women and children and all joy for nine years for nothing what? Ah. Huh? And he, just, and he reaches and he reaches for the for the apron again pulls it over his neck he's like there we go ha, ha, ha. hmm Gosh, he's immediately wary of this guy after that statement <laughs> hmm. but you oh, could in, you I? could incite that I am going to stay here cause... Why are you yeah ahead? No! Oh! Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I is very... Why am I rolling so shit tonight? Nobody knows. <laughs> okay, Fel, you're unconscious. You fail that anyway. <laughs> you, you conked your head on the side. Oh, yeah, I, d- uh, I thought it. Italic, you're. Oh, Rania, you're... Oh, oh. Rania, you're just convinced. My god, we must save the children from this man. Italic, you're like. <laughs> well, that was a weird thing to say. Dash? You get the feeling this guy's like a monk, and he was sequestered away from all life oh. in his training. So basically, oh. he was basically a shut-in for nine years, learning his learning his craft. Dash looks less wary now. Oh, oh that makes sense. <laughs> like, like, like he was literally alone learning his craft. Why would you want Dash to Dash could technically relate. Oh, but... <laughs> anyway, so I I'm guessing the tribute was that you know in a favor for me. Uh oh, yes. Uh briefly, snaps his fingers, uh his his palm changes color. And he his hand is now the color of parchment. And he's like, uh just have your uh you, you prefer to call a, a, a paw, a claw, um, put him here. Dash will go ahead and shake, the contract shake first. his hand. And as you no, touch him, you are stuck I, firm. I, you couldn't pull away if you tried. Like, now we're going to, I'm going to make this simple. Um, eventually I may call on you to help with some uh, uh, heathens that we've had to deal with. Uh, there is just... It, May not be for a month. It may not be for a year. But eventually, I will be calling on you because you this, this still <laughs> was some decent level of magic I had to pull out of literally nowhere and interrupt my fine diplomacy actions of out of all of this. So, but it's it, it's easily fixed. But still, I I will need your assistance. Either you or your group. Well, actually, we might need to hammer that down now. Will it be your group? Are you representing the group? Dash looks to everyone else. I'm fine if it's just me. Hey, count me in too. If I can, if I can, if I can, now I would say something. Make it, yeah. make a constitution check. Here we go. Run your stairs at this, this strange man. Hey, hey, there you, go. you lift your head up, smashing through the wagon. I'm in. Like what? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I'm in. Oh yeah, I, I was gonna ask. What's your definition of heathen? Um, someone literally took to call of a shrine to go live, and are using it to attempt to negotiate for. Nego- uh, oh, you, okay. you cut off after negotiate. Uh, just that, Peter. Yeah, he explains it. It's kind of like the standoff at Wounded Knee back in the seventies, where someone <laughs> literally is is taken hostage of a shrine in order to negotiate. Run, uh, run your ah. nods. I could agree to this. Same. Do you mind if I ask who specifically, though? Like, is it just a bunch of bandits, or is it a specific cult or something? Wait, is it the bandits that currently have that stone... That stone? Stone Stone giant. giant. Stone giant. Do you say that in character? 
Yes. He's like, oh, how did you know? Run your face palms. Oh. Uh, call the lucky guess who accept that me lying. Babe. That hand is still stuck hand, stuck hard to his parchment hand. Oh. <laughs> Wait, well, that, why the hell? That's no. Technically convenient because we had some business of trying to. Trying to. I never shook kick their hand ass ass ourselves. I? We had business with them, or we have business with them. So it's yeah, uh, this, this is the sense that they stole works from out us. for everyone yeah. involved, except the bandits, yes. I imagine. So yeah, uh, is Bundle nearby? Bundle has walked off to see Belxis while that was being taken. Okay, care. yeah. So we'll 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 get back to you in a second, uh, Dash. So uh, you walk over okay. to Belxis after, and this will take place immediately after she screamed. It was an it was an Earth Maw. Yeah. <laughs> so she sees you approach. She's like. <sighs> tries to turn away a little bit, like not. She doesn't walk away, but she just kind of turns. Like she doesn't turn. She only turns her head away from you, not her whole body. Just like crosses arms. Hmm. Oh. I... <laughs> Bundle just kind of walks up, walks up beside her, walk, not not looking at her, looking kind of out into the distance. Like, uh, I know we fucked up, fucked up, Royal. I uh, don't need you uh, telling us that. Heck, I'm sure even our, our halfling friend probably still has bruising on the back of his head. Uh, oh yeah, roll a perception check. Alright. Yeah, where'd Gad go? I mean, where, where'd Hygrid go? Nice. Hygrid is out by the, by the river coastline area. Off to the west, he's playing with the children. Like uh, that's east. That uh, sorry, east. east. Yeah, to, to the coast, to the east. Okay. Yeah, he's like playing with the children, just like making like dirt clawed snowballs with them, and starting like a little little like a mud fight, dirt, dirt ball fights. <laughs> <laughs> he has like a little stick. He's using like a like a pointer, like ah ha, ah ha. Oh. Hygric's the best. Ah, Bundle actually smirks at this. It reminds me of back home playing with the cubs. Mm hmm. So, uh, how bad is it? He says as he looks towards her. She rips off her cowl, and you look, and you see there is literally. She had a broad snout before, but now one of her nostrils is completely cut and flared. So, I and she that. and it goes like straight from her nostril to underneath her eye and it chips her ear. It was a great sword that hit her in the face. So, wow. Oh. <laughs> and it was a definitely well-maintained great sword too. Mm -hmm. Seeing this, Bundle had no idea how badly she was damaged. Yes, he... and she and she has like Little bits of cotton and torn fabric just, just like held like she's like using her cheek to brace it there to absorb all like the the pus and the blood and fluid that's coming out. So, do you understand? You to say I'm frustrated would not be a good enough term, I think. I think the term that you're searching for is, uh, uh... Furious? Absolutely livid. I don't have enough money for this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that should go in quotes. <laughs> I believe that from the, from the, I believe the word you're looking for is all the way to Ronnie's response. Is what? You cut out there, Brett. Yeah, you did. That that three part conversation should go in quotes. Mm. Yeah, it should. I don't have enough money for this, guys. Well, you uh, need all three. Dash, it's your three, because I can't. So, yeah, she's just. You better keep that little man away from me, or else he might disappear. Oh, no. It makes you feel any better. 
he has rubbed everyone he's ever met, at least on first impression, the wrong way. Oh, what'd he do to you? Did he finger you? <laughs> well, have. Jesus! Like and there's her eyes like, Really? Good God, what is with the people you associate with? <laughs> what did you say? Um, Bondle just looks at her, to her and says, Has he grabbed your tail yet? Is is that accurate enough, GM? I, I tried to get it word for word. <laughs> Roger has to do something fucking awesome if he's ever going to live any of this stuff down. <laughs> something well, fucking God. epic. That's true. But that is pretty epic. <laughs> yeah, no, if anything, everything that's happening that you're not going to live down is to balance out the God summoning. Pretty much, uh, I mean, uh, the, if I actually do accomplish my end game thing, that will be pretty, uh, pretty epic. In well, then I better be goddamn invincible because I, uh, because I've been the only, the only one taking. I'm, I'm the tank. Why do you want need you to be invincible at some and, point? Anyway, uh, to my point, Bundle says, says I can understand your frustration, and unfortunately, I. I'm the leader of this ragtag group of misfits, and if you have a problem with him, you have a problem with me. So, if it is a, any consolation, you will be compensated for for your injuries. Oh. But when it comes to dealing with him, I'd rather you dole out your punishment on me. If anything, it will possibly keep my head straight. She's going to insight you on that. Okay, well, what are our... I'm not trying to deceive her, so what would I No, roll? but she's just trying to read that. So... Oh, Jesus! I'd probably just wait to see how high the insight is. That's yes, true. Okay, thirteen. Thirteen. So we're like the rudimentary basics of what that. What's the rudimentary basis of the emotion behind that statement? Essentially, he's to to her. It would seem that Bundle knows that he's the leader and should be controlling the situation, but he did a very bad job and is obviously having. It is obviously bothering. Him. Well, I said rudimentary so, basics, not the entirety. Does the rudimentary okay, basics like what she can essentially. Read He's like bothered by insight what, check. He's bothered by what happened, and the most you'll ever get is that he feels extremely depressed and okay. wants to feel. Comfortable. Okay, so she just looks looks into the distance to the to the halfling, looks to you, looks back at him, curls a fist. Mm. All right then, she's gonna take a swing at you. Yeah, uh, I'm not blocking it. All right, so she gets advantage. Excellent. <laughs> The Double insighting misses. continues. Boy, I sure do love infighting in my campaign. I'm trying to promote cohesion and awareness, and oh boy, it just makes me feel so good and happy <laughs> well, and accomplished. It's still technically the beginnings. We still need to form the bonds a lot more strongly. Okay, that is to 17 to hit you, so. She hit me. Okay, so that'll be, uh. She de she just smacks you across the face for three da three pride damage. <laughs> See, he actually smiles at this. Does uh? It kind of shocks her for a second, and she curls her left fist and takes another swing. Oh shit! Okay, not blocking it. That's a modified twenty to hit. Okay. Nice. You take you take an additional four pride damage. Where did, oh. where did she hit me? If she smacks you straight in both sides. Like she hits you on one cheekbone and then smack in the other cheekbone. At this one, he kind of doubles back. Like, ow, that actually hurt right there. <laughs> but uh, 
let's see, seven damage altogether. And then yeah. finally she just curls back for like for like an uppercut. Sure you fucking Because <laughs> that's what it looks like. And at the last second she goes for just a straight straight like full on one punch man punch in the sternum. Ooh. Does she, does she hit? <laughs> yes, that that's a seventeen to hit. Okay. Uh, and no, that's no. and that's five pride damage. Did the runners see any of this? Perception. Yep. I guess you do. You're peeking from under the wagon wheels. I see it, but I can't do anything about it because I think my hand's stuck at this point. Um, yeah. Didn't get, uh, why not? I can't. Do what do I have? To yeah, you, Feliani, you just loll your head slightly to the side. You're like, oh shit, he's got the shit kicked out of him. Uh, Talik, oh, you can still, you can. You can see it slightly, but you're kind of obscured by the wagon wheels. Like, ah, oh, damn it! I'm missing the Runya, fight. Runya taps his forehead, and he's going to insight to figure out what's going on. Them. Can I do that? <laughs> Disadvantage, because you, you haven't heard the conversation. Yeah, but I was like, what can you read from that? You weren't even there. Okay, that's oh, eleven. That. Come on, D. Uh, that gets me fourteen. 14. Wow, she's really mad. Okay. She's right. so mad she's beating up your boss instead of you. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, uh, do I come to that conclusion? Yeah, that, what I tell you is literally unless unless I've got a really joking behavior about it. it I'm gonna say that that's what you honestly think. Rania is. He's not going to approach, <laughs> but he's currently watching this. Like, Ryan just pulls out a bag of popcorn. Holy bag. shit! No. Holy shit! No. He pulls out a bag of good berries. <laughs> Do you oh, man, remember Ranya's uh, uh, Ranya's little personal problem? Which one? That's a good question. <clears throat> uh, I was gonna yeah. say that's a, that's a very broad statement. I'm gonna need clarification. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, true. Uh, well, uh, he's uh, not going to move forward. He's going to wait until it's finished. But uh, Rania uh, doesn't look. By the way, Constitution check, Rania. Wearing... What? Constitution Did check. He throw him at me. Yeah. There's an itch in your upper right shoulder. Uh. Rania looks at his shoulder. No, you can't. It's it's you're you're still wearing stuff, and it's like you feel like ah, it's like somebody's poking you on on your like on your right shoulder. Like, right, you feel the inside of his shirt. Okay, you you pull out, and you you feel something that's like an ingrown hair, like in your shoulder, like ah, but it's mm. thick. Like, Rah. oh no. Oh god, it's a feather, isn't it? Um, Runya gently tugs at it, seeing if it'll uh, go free easily or not. Oh yeah, you pull it out, but it hurts. It's like, ow! Yeah. Hey, you take, a, you, 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 you take a, you you take a, you take a, you take a point of a, uh, of constitution damage, and you pull out a teeny tiny gray speckled feather. I knew it. At this. I'm going to have to have that talk at some point. If, uh. Uh, fingers the feather a little bit in his hand and he hides it away. Your lips feel trapped. Ronya hides away the feather. Talek spots it. <laughs> God damn! Talek's twenty. <laughs> he watched that whole thing just like. <gasps> Talek does the dramatic gopher. <laughs> <laughs> Ranya looks over at Talek. <clears throat> Ranya looks over at Talek and he smiles. Eh, just a little bit of feather from my pillow. Like has that look of bullshit. And roll roll that insight, Talek. Well, insight first, so you can say that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's a twenty-four. That, that feather had a bit of blood on it. Talek walks over to Rania and starts pushing him away from everybody else. We'll go to talk, little man. 
Meanwhile, by this, yeah, by this point, just... b- by this point, Belch has stopped punching the hell out of you and just like. That felt, that felt good. I haven't felt good in a long time. Bundle is coughing up blood. She just tosses <laughs> you a black handkerchief like, fuck it, here you go. Uh, didn't think he pissed you off that much. <coughs> Damn. She, she points to her face. Fair enough. Damn, what do I roll to find some aloe vera? You roll, let Bundle have his turn. Okay. <laughs> Quotes. Someone else has to do that since it's a quote of me. But uh, Bundle wipes away the blood that's been getting us now uh, dripping off his, his muzzle. Says, Alright. Now, do you think you can not want to have a murderous eye on our little halfling friend? Uh, persuasion. Straight persuasion. Persuasion. It could okay. be worse. She kicks yeah. in again. I'll think about it. That's all I can really ask for. Moves over in the direction of Hygric and like shudders at the eye. You can see her shudder at the end of it. Oh god, I have to wander into that sea of children. Oh god, oh god, oh god. You your mic there. Your, yeah, your mic's cutting in and out. Smack! Son of a... Take two. Better one? Better two. Yes. Correct. Mm. Yes. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, she she turns away from you, starts to move toward the sea of children. You can see her shudder, actively like, oh no. She's trying to maneuver her way toward High Grick. Like, oh, yeah. What is grabbing her tail if she has a tail? Mm-hmm. What? Is she a dragonborn that has a tail or no? Oh, you're gonna grab her tail? No, I said. Saying- no! <laughs> No, I'm saying one of the kids grabs onto her tail if she has a tail. Like, she hasn't quite maneuvered her way towards her yet, but she's moving, like, she's, like, within ten feet of the of the children horde, and she's like, uh. I'm surprised she hasn't rolled stealth. <laughs> the, the horde. <laughs> there it <Okay>. is! <laughs> Not What's bad. What you roll on What stuff? are the children's perception checks? Oh, wow. damn! Oh, God, God I'm not even going to bother to perceive that. <laughs> you see her walk towards it, and then she just disappears into the ground. And it's... <laughs> Fuck. It's like, oh, where'd she go? How does the red dragonborn disappear anywhere? Black and Before red. she's black and red. There's still some of that shale and slate scattered around. Like, it's, it's still... This is a meeting place of those two environments, so... Uh, so, I'm with Talek then? Yeah, uh, but we're gonna go back to Dash and uh, Fell and uh, cool. Ged. So, yeah. Ged. So, yeah, you, your crew will uh, assemble at uh, my request. I'll be in touch. I'm very good at being in touch. Kind of pokes you in the face with his free finger. Uh, well, not, uh, not, sure. uh, not intrusively, but like, ha ha ha. <laughs> like when your grandma gives you, like, oh, you naughty thing. Well, it's like a little bundle. boop on the nose. Let's see if Bundle wants his name thrown into this as well. Bundle! Bundle kind of haggardly makes his way over. He has kind of like a puffy haggardly. face. Like, Ugh. Bundle, when you got the shit. When did you get the shit kicked out of you? Belxis did it. I saw it. Oh. Yeah, I don't blame her. Neither do I. <laughs> oh, I'm throwing Bundle under the bus! No, no, I mean, considering <laughs> as in, he understands how pitched she is, he, he he would have expected to get the shit beat out of him as well. Now Bundle feels worse, because he doesn't know what you meant by that. I didn't mean it like that, I didn't mean it like that, anyway. No. No. Bundle just raises his hand and is like, alright, get it, screw it up, but that being said, 
What's going on here? Uh, Gato, can you explain? Um, your Drakenbjorn friend had just explained that uh, in, in addition to the glass needle uh, being sacrificed for her good for her goodness, uh, I am uh, I am owed a favor by uh, everyone except for you. But you can join in to clear some heathens away from one of Goliv's treasured shrines. The catch is that the heathens that uh, have the stone giant, aka okay, the pe- Go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Sorry. Aka the people who robbed us. Bundle nods at this and says, well, he's my brother in arms, so I guess I have no choice but to follow. Excellent. And he gives you a firm grasp of the hand, and immediately the parchment texture disappears, and your hand goes free. Dash go. Dash looks at his hand. Uh, the, the, uh, you can see like the, the parchment like texture that seemed to have imbued onto you a little bit just slowly fade away. I don't know if there's only like a little like wit there's like a little like slightly pa- parchment tinted scar like one of the one of the scars in your hand turns slightly parchment colored but it's like it's very slight it's like like no thicker than like your your pinky nail after like choice clipping huh that was a first yes and you can't cut out on it or else go live will smite you down oh uh, if there's anything I tried my best to do, it's try to uphold my promises. Excellent. Anyway, um, uh, I guess I can heal you. Oh, was, was, was there another one who needed healing, perhaps? There wasn't before. Or might be now. Bundle looks back and sees that Belks is still nowhere near the area is well actually you see her on top of hygric in the distance like she's like like he she is piggybacking on him just like no 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 no. like a cat trying to get away from yes and the children are like forming title waves like we trying to reach her (laughs) (laughs) grabbed onto her tail (laughs) no but they're trying but she's dodging (laughs) yeah she's she's dodging really well you know, I'm but, surprised none of them have climbed on me. I'm the tallest motherfucker here. I yeah. think Hygric is slightly taller than you, isn't he? Pretty How tall is Hygric? Hygric is six foot four. I'm taller. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm six foot seven. But you also are a black dragon boy. Maybe they know what that means. But, uh... A bundle just points out to Ged, Belk says, and says, Oh, I got uh, it. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's a fire! Ah! Uh-oh. Save fell. Eh. Uh, okay. But a uh, bundle just points out to we're, we're, uh, Ged. I think we're uh, we're waiting on uh, Brett. That was on his end. Oh, okay. No. Brett. Okay. I don't like that. The word you're looking for is serious. Oh, oven's malfunctioning. I don't have enough money for this, guys. Oh, his his oven's malfunctioning. (laughs) Like you do. But anyway, Bundle just points out to Ged. um, Oh, there it goes! (laughs) uh, I'm not going to get this out, am I? We have fun here. <laughs> At least it's none of our fault this time. It's, it's, it's the oven's fault. Yeah. The oven is evil. Uh, just try your best to remember what you tried to say. Oh, no, I know what I'm trying to say. It's just... <laughs> oh, God, it's everywhere. <laughs> Oh, okay. Third touch of charm. While my arm is on fire, we will continue. <laughs> Bundle will try to tell Ged that yes, our our guide Belxis needs a bit of attention as well. I, on the other hand, will just need a potion. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah. he goes. Oh, yeah. 
He's like, oh, my my bag my bag is with the parlay. Um, she. I can't access it. I can't access to the parlay. It's complete. Uh, curses. Um. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I I will get you a potion as soon as you hand me over the gold and I get to my bag. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll get it later. Um. But uh, you see, Hygric slowly starting to wade out of the children, and. <laughs> There's just the yay hooray hooray, just slowly swarming towards you guys now. Oh god! Because <laughs> oh, they're following him like uh, like the horde of bugs following Nausicaa of the vet, like like the Pokemon following Jesus. Ash out of the smoke in Pokemon the first movie. Oh <laughs> shit! As a heads up, Getchy may or may not have taken the great smoke in the face. He he peers. He's like, oh, what are you talking about? Uh, huh? Yes, that is a. Looks like she took a great sword to the face. Yeah. Yeah. He looks around, looks at you. He's like, oh, how could you? She's one of your own kind. <laughs> oh no! Oh I no! Was no, it not wasn't the one who was the one I got to the great sword at the time. It wasn't him. It was um. Oh, it, it was some some. A dastardly skeleton or some uh, animated vines got hold the of tiny it. Halfling. Halfling. It, it, it was an accident. It was an accident. Bon under the wagon. Bon will just shouts out, "Yes, it was a skeleton." He says rather yes, loudly. Yes, the skeleton. And nothing else. <laughs> Deception <laughs> checks. Deception checks. Here I go. Nope. Gosh, you get it. It was a skeleronia. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> right here, me become a skeleton after this. Dash, you give it the worst liar. I mean, I technically got. Uh... Ryan just breaks out his Coco cosplay. <laughs> 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 what is Coco versus Ranya be like? like Ranya nowhere nearby. Yeah, Co yeah, but he can still hear them. But yeah, meanwhile, cut to... <laughs> so, well, uh... and, a Talik and a Ranya walk into a field. <laughs> one, one of them does. <laughs> no, one of them says, Hey, you ever read the book? Uh, Alright, dude, again? dude. No, you're not letting them have their turn. Sorry. <laughs> Talik looks at Ranya and goes, Okay, buddy, I know I see why I think I saw... What's going on? What did you think you see? <laughs> Small, feathery, with a bit of a point at the end for an inkwell pen. What do you think? I seen a bloody ass feather being pulled from underneath your shirt. Ready nuts. Okay. Yeah. It was from the chickens. The, the, some of uh, the, some of the <laughs> I still had a little bit of uh, uh, Dash punched the chicken. There was a little bit of blood. I got some feather inside. Roll deception with disadvantage. Ranya tapped his forehead real quick. I was like, why are you tapping your forehead? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Plus Insight two. from Dalek. Oh, God! Dalek <laughs> <laughs> is picking no shit. <laughs> Dalek is the bane to my deception. What is Mesa? Up to Lani and pokes in the chest. Yeah, I'm going to take some good swinging lessons. Uh... <laughs> now, now, friendly fire is being cut back on, says God. Lani or... <laughs> lets out a, uh, a night groan and scratches the back of his head a little. Uh, I think uh, m my. God may be trying to collect me in her own way. This is uh, not the first time she's done something like this. Uh, she doesn't want to take the trouble of uh, sending one friend or emissaries. Am I saying the word right? Emissary, yeah. Emissary, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, sending one of her emissaries over to me, so uh, she Gonna, she may turn me into an owl and me to go to her. Uh, that, uh, 
is unless if I make contact with her first and renegotiate our contract. I uh, I told you that I kind of made a deal, right? Yeah, you told me about that, but there's is there any way you can prevent becoming an owl? Possibly. Uh, I have to make a call. I do have something I've had planned in mind, but I've hoped that I would have had more time to get it set up because I don't have enough leverage yet to uh, propose my idea to her. But I'm running out of time, and it's quite clear that if I don't convince her if I don't convince her to work for me instead of the other way around, things are going to get a little bit, a little bit more complicated. A little bit more. But complicated. I, I think it's time for me to give her a little talking to soon and lay all my cards out on the table. And see what pans out. I've been holding back for her as long as I can, but I think it's time for me to start making my moves. I'm just That's not sure one. if I will. I'm just not sure if I'm going to be on the winning end of this, but he he smiles and uh, uh, kind of does that closed eyes, some reassuring fake grin that he does. A uh, smart man figures out. Ah! What was that for? Creeping me out. Two, you're giving up too easily. And three, I'm not giving up. Screw that noise. Okay. I've come way too far to give up. Pressure on you again. Ah! Stop it! Bring it like slaps him back. Eh. Slap fight. Eh, God, eh. Is that what this devolves into? Yes, just slap fight. Perception checks from the other three. Uh, okay then. What would you do if I get out? Juliana, you're kind of a, you're kind of still terrified of the fact that there are children running towards you. Dash and bundle, Dash and bundle are like, huh? Look, the midgets are slapping each other. <laughs> Bundle just says, "I've already taken one punch. I've already taken three punches for the for the guy. I'm not doing any more." Okay, after uh, after about a minute of them just slapping each other, he finally uh, out of breath, like, "As I was saying, uh, the wise try to find more than one way to win, and that even when they lose, they still succeed." I. I'm trying to arrange pieces so that no matter what, even if I don't survive, I will win. Come on, you panting. Yeah, I swear. You become an owl, I will hunt you down and pluck your feathers myself. If I become an owl, I will have bigger worries than you, little man. <sighs> Look who's talking! <laughs> I'm taller than him. What are you him. talking? You're you halfling bastard! Just because you have bigger ears than me doesn't mean you're taller than me. Out of it, you freaking midget! Excuse you go me. by forehead to forehead, I tower. Dashigan calls over. Are you two done making out yet? <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm gonna be discussing, uh, like, sloppy noises as he, like, uh, hides behind, uh, metallic face. <laughs> <laughs> in the face. <laughs> <laughs> eh, it's just a phase they're going through. They'll eventually straighten out. <laughs> Is that what your parents told you? <laughs> Uh, Jesus. Right. Uh, well, eventually they'll figure out they're meant for each other, and then they'll stop all this fighting, or maybe the fighting will get more passionate, or who knows. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what have I done? <laughs> you made a shit, my friend. I you guess what, that's going in quotes. <laughs> what part? 
What have I done? Or uh, uh, are you uh, two done making out? No. <laughs> disgusting sweat floppy noises. You've given Bundle an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing Bundle's not the DM. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, Rania uh, smiles back at Talek. Uh, you don't have to I worry. I, I have a plan. Dear God, I hope it... I don't know what's worse, if it works or if it doesn't work. Ron Howard voice. It would not work. <laughs> <laughs> it would fail miserably. It might not work the way he plans it, but he has some plans. But he's going to have to have a conversation with Preacher Man to see uh, how much support he can actually garner. Please, Ronnie, because if you do, I will personally hunt you down and beat you with a mace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Death threats. I, I'm freaking under the. Gios of a goddess of death. I'm not worried about death threats at this point. When you yeah, wait you don't know a rabbit's wrath, do you? I do know a rabbit's wrath. My friend is uh, uh, like one under the trial of rabbits. The freak Rabbit. is like goddamn fast, like you won't believe. Rabbits. Good, because you would never see me come when I snipe you across the head. I've, okay. I've been slapped across the head by you so many times, I'm pretty sure I have an indent. <laughs> Ged looks over. Uh, Ged, Ged's talking to Dash. Are, are they really making out? Probably. Fascinating. Just, oh, what did children sure. look like? No. That's a... <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> Hold on, could you repeat that for me? <laughs> Fascinating. What would their children look like? In an alternate I universe. I really, really don't want to know. Okay, uh, I want to do. I want to do something in an alternate universe. Uh, well, with Talek, uh, Ranya rub, runs his hand across Talek's face. Like, would you like to repopulate? Still in universe A. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good. Okay, uh, Rania uh, makes his way back to the. How long? <clears throat> how how long will whatever you did take until it takes full effect and it's done? Oh, she should be able to walk within uh, two or three days, give or take. I saw her sight was kind of interesting. Uh, something weird was going on with her eyes. But I guess again, I mean, I've already gone. I've already. Yeah, we saw a powerful druid about that. Oh. A druid? Huh. Yes. <laughs> you went around. Yeah, yeah. not our yeah. druid. No, not, not him. No, no. Much more powerful. I think he was a uh, dwarf. A dwarf. Well, dwarf elf. That's what he looked like to me. I mean, you're not wrong. Hey, what's a dwarf elf? Half dwarf, half elf. Scary so, elf. So, I'm getting trees. So, I'm guessing until three days, I'm going to be. It's going to be pretty hard for me. Okay, for the next so couple days, see. like, he has crutches for you for the next couple days Yay! you're moving around. Yeah. And meanwhile, Hygric has dropped off Belxis in front of him. He's like, ah, oh, yes, Belxis. Ah! Oh! Oh! Yeah. oh. Let's, right, the skeleton. Oh yes, the skeleton. Oh, good God, that must have been a resilient <laughs> skeleton. It almost well didn't take a head off at least. So I guess that's a good thing. It was, it was really dexterous, Run I suppose. The yes. skeleton. Belks just looks to you a lot and is like a skeleton. The skeleton. Yes, nodding her. That's just shrugs. I tried to tell her. Yep. Certainly was a vicious skeleton that was. There's that Rania, I bet. <laughs> no, she's not giving him any notice. She only looked at the group, excluding him. So, like, move, then maneuvers her vision back to gather. Yeah, yeah the skeleton. skeleton. Dash honestly doesn't know why they're saying it was a skeleton rather than an accident. Roger speaks into Dash's head. I think I might want to save my apology for a bit later. 
Now doesn't seem like the best time. Yeah, she's not gonna respond. Hell of a skeleton. I still don't believe it was a skeleton, but okay, whatever. Um, I, I can hear oh. this. And he just pulls out pulls out his other cheek pocket and pulls out just some uh, some very lumpy salve. And he's like, okay, this is uh, this is sing a little bit. <laughs> he's like, oh, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. This he's like, here, here, how about you, you lie down? She looks around at the at the chill. He's like, ah. He's like, um. Uh, he, no, get get no. waves at the at like the the tribe leaders, and they're like, Hagen, oh da, and the children scatter into into like the various tents and structures and just. I imagine like the whistle from Pikmin just happening. They, they wave oh, as they run away. Hi do who? I wave back. To distract them, but that works too. Actually, they kind of remind me of the Fraggles. I wave back. <laughs> He's like, bye. No one remember the Fraggles. Uh, no. I remember them. That is Fraggle Rock. So anyway, they they scatter, and she's like, and she's like, mm. like uh, please lie down. It, it it will be much more comfortable. I promise. Although I will need you lie on your side. That's not damaged. That way I can access the whole uh, of the uh, um blemish. Sheepishly smiles, and he's like. He's like and just does it. He's I like, mean, okay, and uh, uh, this will sting, but um, do you need, like, someone to hold your hand or um, uh, give you gentle back rubs? Well, I, I can do both, <laughs> if necessary. I... Like, no, just do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. While this is happening, Dash is just going to come in. Well, look at this, but you at least have a real cool scar. Rania, what are you doing? I'm trying to hide. <laughs> I'm trying to hide by walking right in front of her. <laughs> right, walking right in front of her and hiding behind him dead. But yeah, no dash comments. Hey, she'll have a cool scar. I'm curious what the consequences of that comment are gonna be. Wait. Ooh. Um. Ronya would. Actually She's just like grumbling like. Hey, what? I'm um, literally covered in scars. I know what I'm talking. Dashkin strips. Look, he's like, oh, <laughs> he's already <laughs> stripped. My God, what a magnificent specimen! He <laughs> <laughs> had a hair on him. He has a hair on the same as Oh, pair of pants back on again. Mm. Damn it! Why are you currently <laughs> walking up into the bushes, uh, um, trying to go find something? He tapped his forehead quick. Yeah. What, what are, are you, you looking for? You gotta tell me what you're looking for, man. Aloe vera. <laughs> you know what? Considering this is not the climate, this is Damn. almost the climate for it, since it's coastal, you, you manage to find something remarkably close, like off-brand aloe vera. It's like, okay, this isn't quite <laughs> aloe vera, but it, it, it has similar properties. It's a... Can I use my druid craft to boost its properties? It's Naravallo. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! Okay, uh, can I use my druid craft to boost its properties, or somehow, you know, like make it right? You need to roll an arcana like, check on that because this can go south very easily. Oh, okay. okay. roll an arcana. I mean, the worst you can roll is a one. Can exactly. I have Rihanna roll my arcana check for me? No. no. I'm not there. If Rania taps his forehead. Woo! Hold on, hold on. D4. Yeah, 20. Alright, you managed to... Do you pump enough power into it that actually grows a good... It, like, almost doubles in size. So it's... Okay, uh, and, it starts it, it, and it starts secreting some of the enchanted oils it has, so... It turns into a giant nerd root from... Uh, it becomes a very plump... It becomes a very plump leaf. Awesome. And the narrow val uh, uh, val it grew three sizes that day. <laughs> but does the uh, uh, does the healing properties uh, seem like it's more concentrated? No, it just actually it's like uh, the these leaves they actively start leaking like sap that that has healing properties when it's like, prim and proper, and now it's actually starting to like plump like 
plump and ripen and start like like mm. you can squeeze the leaf and it starts oozing out of like the, the side pores basically Wait, you just now made i wish that runya had a glass it. jar uh do i have anything that can contain it you can ask bundle for vials uh, um, uh, uh, Rania, uh, quickly, like, uh, like, holding an icky sword or something that's kind of, like, about to spell over, like, Bundle, vial, please. Please. Bundle pulls out a vial and starts to uh, cap whatever is being leaked uh, out of he it. He starts to squeeze out, uh, uh out the stuff, uh, as, uh, Yeah, it starts uh, coming out of the stem, and it's like, yeah. burp, 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 and you, you collect it. What the hell yeah, did you yeah. do to that plant? Um, magic. Uh, he, uh, uh, he, he uh, takes the vial. Insight, Dash, again. Uh, uh, I have an idea. What? Go, Dash, go, Dash, go, uh, Dash. Your bardic inspiration? Uh, 14. Okay, not, not what I was expecting you to roll, so I can't make... Uh, but you're like, <laughs> oh, okay, magic, whatever. Damn, you know what I'm doing with this aloe vera, right? I also know what it looks like, so... Uh, good. So you know that aloe vera does wonders for scars. I also know aloe vera is nice and thick and translucent. Why the heck not? Yeah. There it goes! <laughs> Talek knows exactly what I'm trying to do. Okay, uh, we're going to take a quick break right here while that's happening, and then we're going to wrap up session within, like, copy 3045. Oh. Okay. Meanwhile, back in the campaign, uh, yeah, Ged's just <laughs> slathering some good old chunky salve on her wound. She's like, mm -hmm. he's like, it's a, it's all right, it's all right. Okay. This will, you'll be out in a jiff, as the, uh, as the uh, common folk call it. Yes, and uh, <laughs> what's roll a jiff? Roll a deck save on Ged Live O, and he failed. Oh shit! No. No. He presses down on the salve in her wound. Oh, poor Belson. Uh, God, oh, I Ged? think that might be a bit much. <laughs> Ged? But they think you're doing it a bit too rough. Oh, you big baby, slaps it. <laughs> oh my oh, God! God. Yeah. Ged! Dash with his 16 constitution is gonna wince at that. <laughs> and she just opened my like... It's... <laughs> and he's like... Ged, I, I, I may have done it... I may have laid it on a bit thick that time. I, I apologize. She just turns slowly to look at him. You can hear the stone grinding in her neck as she turns <laughs> to look at him. It's like... So, so, sorry, I, um, there, there. Bundle just moves to her side and says, I'll pay for all your drinks. Please don't kill anyone. <laughs> she just blinks and, like, maneuvers her head back to where it's laying on the, on the grass shale compilation. He's like, sorry, I'll, I'll be much more careful. I so apologize. It better. <laughs> So yeah, he just oh, he smooths it out. Like there we go, there we go, there we go. What is going on? Dash is gonna look like you have an arm wrestling match later. <laughs> the Hygric? Yeah. Mm. 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 Like it, it, he just shrugs in a I, I guess so kind of way. Figured if we're unless you and Belxus are leaving after this, figured I'd ask. Hmm. He thinks on that. He you know, like, yeah, gives like, like the pointing, like a lot, like I'll have to talk to her later. Mm. Sounds good. Maybe we can still rehire her. Thump. Dale Cooper no. thumbs up. <laughs> Dale Cooper said. Uh, <laughs> if he approves, then we're good. Ah, uh, the Dale Cooper said. So yeah, uh, she, she gets her salve laid on. It's sort of like this uh, butterscotchy paste looking stuff with like little tapioca like bubbles and textures to it occasionally. Oh. 
And she's like, uh, and you say, Why does yes, that she will. Like pudding? She, well, I would recommend pudding. you not eat it. It will, it might dissolve your tongue. So, oh, <laughs> why are you putting it on our face? Because it res it it reacts better to these textures than to your tongue's texture. How that worked? Careful years of anyway. years of study. All right, you were saying good. At least I think that was the right salve. I really, I really, I really, I really should get to labeling these things. Uh, I hope you're resistant to acid, Noxus. <laughs> nothing's nothing's wrong, Noxus. Everything's fine, right, Nash? Uh, I'm taking right, one. What am I rolling since Dash is unsure? Uh, persuasion? Yeah, I'll roll that here. Oh, that was not persuasion. That it's, is... It's still that's 13. My, that's a minus one to that, so that's a 12. I'm pretty sure I get to stand disadvantage on any persuasion world I will ever make to her, so... Nope! <laughs> <laughs> it's not fine! It's incredibly not fine! <laughs> Bundle is smiling while shaking his head no. <laughs> At this point, he's like, I'm already getting my ass beat once. I'm not getting it beat again. <laughs> yeah, she rolled a 22 insight, so... <laughs> so, what's your charisma modifier, Tyler? Well, I'm just—I roll perception, perception side oh. to see what's going on. Oh, okay. Aren't you right there? Did you uh, not? Did you not rejoin yeah. the group after? After Vanya rejoined? Are you still in the bushes? I'm still in the bushes. <laughs> Why? Uh, Why not? He's unconscious. <laughs> Boy, like, oh, this would be a good place for a nap. He's currently reeling from this imaginary shipping event that we had. Christ. I love to beat Ron your ass. Anyway. Actually. <laughs> oh, god damn it. No! no. Oh, Jesus. No. I meant. No. <laughs> Don't actually do that. That's a joke. <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so, so yes, uh, eventually Ged uh, finishes his job. He's like, okay, I, I've got to go finish my parlay. He picks up his materials, shoves them back into his cheek pockets, and he's like, okay. Dun, oh, dun, 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 dun. Uh, one more question before you leave. Uh, yes? Do they have anything like a tavern here for an inn that we can stay at? That's a good idea. Well, they've got the, the common... Hut where they hold drinking contests and uh, feats of strength and uh, occasionally tell stories, but that's not until evening. We're st it's still it's still the work day. Still good enough. Ranya actually tried to wave down the uh, the, the the god man. Ged, Ged, yes, the Ged man. Um. I would like to hear more about your god later, if you would be allowed. Finish your business, but if you're still in town, uh, um, uh, if you're still in town before we leave, I'd like to hear more about him. Hmm. Excellent. And then he hurries. I'm like, oh, oh, God, God, I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late, late. He pulls out pocket watch. So how are you feeling, Baxis? Right, thought so. <laughs> oh, you can say she still has a nose for things. Dash looks to bumble. So, what now? Since I imagine trying to move Billy on up at the time being would be still be a bad idea while she's in this condition. I can walk on crutches. I'm sorry, guys. It's not if your I'm... fault. I'm literally a walking so handicap. <laughs> it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault, man. It's not your fault. Right then. Um, 
Bundle's just going to look to the group and say, we are a little worse for wear, some more than others. But I think we will take the time to relax, see if we can do some work around here to uh, make up for the fact that we're taking up space. And, Great. Uh, like, uh, yeah, go ahead. But, go down, go down. Uh, and once we're all in agreement that we're okay, then we'll move on, see, see the room next move. But for right now, our, a little R&R. &R. Anya would like to roll in that quick on the belts. For what? To, uh, to just see how she's doing, uh, if she seems... She like... had a chunk taken out of her face and a, and a medical professional slapped her on it. I'm going to roll an insight on Bundle, just to, like how to see how he's doing in general. I'm, uh, I, I just can Never uh, mind. I just yeah uh, uh, want to see if she's like angry. If this would be a bad time to try Bundle to apologize myself. to her or not. I believe the answer would be yes. I don't, yeah, I don't think you even need an insight for that. I, I, you never know. Never mind. <laughs> Uh... Oh, there are the dice. Oh. Mm. Yeah, she's just kind of hurt right now. Like it's still sting. Like you can tell, most she's just wincing because her her face still stings a lot. Run your hands up, uh, 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 bundle two gold for the vial that uh, he uh, currently has in his pocket. Bundle is now not glaring, but he's looking at Rania like, hmm. Just keep pour, your gold. pour the vial. Keep your gold. Hmm. Fine. And uh, thank you for what you did. I don't like. Bundle I just shakes his head. You. We'll talk later. Not, no, not. Not. Well, is there anything any of you need from me before I go try to, I don't know, see what we can do while we're here? Run your perception check. What? 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 Roll it. Nope. Nope. God Never damn mind. it! Okay. Oh, no. Uh, actually, no, I can still make this work. Okay. So, uh, the rest of you notice there's a rustling. There's like some tall grass just behind Rania, and you can see some of it start to rustle and part just behind him, slowly but mm -hmm. surely. DM, this isn't what I think it is, is it? Find out. Oh no! I'm gonna try to lean over to see what it is. All I right. Get put past it, the shield and mace. <laughs> God damn, Talik. Rodney is currently staring over at Belt, just like, like uh, wanting to, like, like. Am I rolling it. anything? Slowly but surely, a shadowy figure maneuvers its wave. A shadowy quadruped moves through the grass until. Oh a no! Little, a little baby boar pokes its head out of the tall grass oh. and stares at Rania. Huh? Rania currently doesn't see it because he has No, no, it is. Clump, 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 clump. Pokes you in the butt with its snout. Are you sure? Oh. Oh. Hello there. Aww. Rania reaches into his pack and uh, takes out uh, a handful of good berries and, like, uh, tries to feed it. It Anybody? sniffs cautiously. Sense for your friend, Rania. Mm. Hell yeah! <laughs> it uh, rolls. It, it rolls over and shows its belly to you. Uh, oh. Rania scratches its belly. Yeah, it's a good Rania checks. Boy, it's a girl. Okay, girl. He's a girl. Good, good girl. Good girl. Because mommy out of the bushes tackling Rania. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh my god, the windows, they crashed! <laughs> Sorry. Do not scare off the boar. Also, you make sure you feed and clean it, Rania. Wait. If the ba if that's a baby boar, where's its, where's its mama? Oh, that shit, that's is a good, a point. good question. Uh, Rania would, would like to do a start looking around for a bigger boar. Rania taps his forehead. What am I rolling? Actually, the children gather around like, Hida! And they start all communally scrubbing the boar, like, Hida, Hida, Hida! What? Oh. You, mm -hmm. get, you get kind of Where? the idea this may be like the village pet. Oh, okay. Oh! 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 Okay, okay. Maybe oh. Can keep it. Yeah, probably. Oh. Oh, oh. Now we have 170 good berries. So we're 10. <laughs> Just in the midst of battle. Here, have a good berry. Good berry. It worked for me. <laughs> yes. No. Said two beads. Mm -hmm. That's copyright. Not if I say yes. good berry. There. <laughs> good berry. Good berry. Ranya, I need healing. Good berry. You see, if I could, like, upgrade these good berries to, like, I don't know... Better berries? Level or Better berries. Be Better be like that. Is that going to be Rania's little, like, entrepreneurial effort down the road? The Better Berry Company. <laughs> yes, actually, that'd be awesome if I could do that. Hey, but, uh, 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 you... He you would turn much... it into a multi-cup, multi-level business of... Money, 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 money. Yeah. Right. I'm okay with making a business out of this. Uh, having these uh, little um, good berries be a uh, good, uh, good. Talek good eventually people. chooses okay. the money god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the god of dumb luck is better. Uh, Dash is on a long shot and gonna look to the children. Uh, do. You... Do any of you know who's in charge of, like, work? Uh, you, you know from the fact that Ged is currently in parlay that he's probably in charge of the heads of the village in the current moment. Ah, alright. Now well, I guess I'm waiting my turn then. And after about an hour of playing and frolicking, eventually Ged comes like, Ah, yes, we have I finally finished my parlay. Um, I have to go find Kira. She's probably around here somewhere, probably catnapping oh. as she's prone to. Oh, Wait, here is here, bundle. Bundle's ears pick up. <laughs> oh yeah, I think she's probably somewhere by the river. The it, cats... Uh, this cat likes her bats for some reason. Well, so do mm. panthers. Panther tabaxi. So... Oh, well. so yeah, I have cats with four head. <laughs> nope! <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Yeah. no. What are you trying to read? I tried to inside bundle. Hey, yeah, I got inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah you go. Okay. There's that paladin inside. Mm. How much do I have to say, DM? You can choose to persuade or deceive if you want. Whatever. <laughs> uh, what uh, what what do you think is a proper DC for reading bundle? And don't just say twenty five. <laughs> No, this is ridiculously dumb. Thirty-six. I'd say to read him now would be he he clearly has an interest. You've seen his ear ears perk up. It'll be at least a sixteen. Mm. Yeah, so what does Talek read? He reads that bundle really needs to see Kira for some reason. So if Talek is uh, if Talek Timon and am I Pumba? <laughs> no. Hida is Pumbaa. We've been over this. <laughs> ah, okay. Rania. Hey, uh, Hida. I think baby season's around the corner for Bundle. And you nod. Jesus and he, Christ. Uh, 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 hikes up his pants and, like, puts on a, a weird hatch, like, it's time to hide in the bushes. <laughs> do I see Rania do and say that? Yes. <laughs> Ron, what the hell are you doing? We're gonna go find us some. Hey, kids, you wanna play a game? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's called. It's called Chase the Halfling. You what? wanna play? No. 
And I roll like to convince them to chase Rodney around. Rodney roll persuasion with head. advantage. Fuck! Come on, Dash. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Persuasion <laughs> with advantage. It's not bad. Come on! Come on, kids! Hey, kids, it's the most fun! <laughs> they look from the tall dragonborn who finally spoke to them, like, whoa! But then they look to the halfling who's like, huh, huh, huh? And they're like, yeah! No! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, Radia points that dash again. He is a big dragon man! Radia taps the forehead. Well, Feliana is attempt is helping persuade them. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's a twenty. No. You're not beating that twenty-eight. No. 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 I mean, Ryan turns try. into a black bear. Attention! And attention! Attention! Okay. Start running. <laughs> Ronnie, Ronnie turns into a giant black bear and starts running away. I don't know why. It oh, that. Morpha! <laughs> I think you made it worse for yourself. Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> yeah, one of them. Actually, hold on, let me roll. Oh no! Okay, one of them trips. Oh. Nope. One. Two of them actually managed to grab onto your fur and latch, and they. Wee! First way to roll ever. <laughs> you could all kind of hear Rania's mental scream as these little kids are latched onto him. Best, ah. the best use of a 20. <laughs> You're welcome, Bundle. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so, Bundle, you wanted to head out and find uh, Kira? Yes. Again, Those points are... you towards the river. Like, uh, the, the, check the tree line around the. A river. She likes the calming sounds of, of river water and streams and rain and all that wet those wet things. Uh, I've got to go and find my materials to uh, probably just start labeling them. Yes, yes. Uh, just, uh... Uh, at this point, he's going to try and sneak up and spook her. The okay. Uh, uh, hey, First of all, you have to else. find her. Oh. Right. oh DM right. real quick. Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, what would I be able to roll to like, determine where, uh, uh, like, would I know, it, not exactly, but, like, uh, would I know the area around? Um, you know the area directly east, um, and you okay. know there's, you know there's a bridge that connects okay. the Lapland Peninsula to the rest of the eastern front. Are you Close. talking to this dir this direction? Because this direction's west. Yeah, I'm sorry, you know the area directly west. Blech. Okay, okay. That's okay, I do the same thing all the time. Yeah, you 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 haven't really been to the north end of Lopland. You've only been like to the middle center area. But okay. you But yeah, you you're basically familiar. Like you're more familiar with the south than you are the north end of the continent. Yeah, that that would make sense. Alright, anyway, continue. Just curious. So yeah, um after a a good five minute search, you do manage to spot her. Uh, bundle clomp, clomped up in a uh, tree. At least you, you see that the faint end of a tail, just a jaguar tail, just leaning mm. over the edge of one of, of a tree branch. Uh, the, the, this position tells that she's laying on a branch, like. Okay. Well. Surprise, it's an actual jaguar. Let's hope not. Um, he's going. Uh. Do I have to roll stealth again to try and sneak up on her? Because uh... Yes. Okay. Slightly it's slightly worse. worse. Slightly worse, but still good. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm looking at the for me. Uh, let me see what her pass God is. damn it. <laughs> We're heading to the song. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Did Ronnie just post that? I think he did. <laughs> no, no, it's something different. Thanks. Do you feel the love tonight by the Lion King? Oh, no, 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 it's no, much no. different. Passive perception is 15, so she does not notice you as you get closer to the tree. Jesus Christ, her passive perception is 15. Alright, once I get to the tree... 
Uh, Bundle just kind of sits down under it and speaks rather loud. Speaks loudly. Looks like someone's having a cat nap. She just opens one eye, like, hmm. You know, you're not the first one who's, you're not the first one who's tried to pull a pull a fast one on old Kira. So don't you be trying to start down that path, youngun. Like I'm going to be messing with you. At least not in that regard. Hmm. Stretches a little bit. <sighs> yes, you see every little inch of her vertebrae like expand and pop as she like stretches, like like slow motion, just spine movements, like mmm. <sighs> okay, uh, bundle boy, what do you want with good old Kira today? What, can a, can a fellow tabaxi not meet his own? And just to say hi? We're nomads, we're not really that... Nuclear, we're not really the nuclear family type. In the distance, what's a nuclear? <laughs> I'm kidding. In the distance, what's a family? Oh, the arcade yeah. family. <laughs> Wait, what was that? The, the I don't know that the transmute, the transmutable family. <laughs> like from Full Metal Alchemist. Jesus Christ, Edward. I suppose. But anywho, he he chuckles and says, "Well, I do have some questions." Mm. Tell for you what, one, I like you, so I'll make it cheap for you. Ooh, cheap, huh? <laughs> didn't didn't know you were the roguish type. At least, not with information. Ah, girls gotta eat. Are you that's, boxes? A, that's a very like a familiar game, phrase. You know? Yeah. It's also a kind of a fact of life. It is. Yeah. I have a feeling that her and uh, Belfast will get along. But he asks, one, have you seen a, a female tabaxi that looks like me? Hmm. Eh, no, can't say I have. At least not in about ten, twelve years. But she was, she was an old one, so uh, starting to gray. Yeah, definitely not of my tribe then. Maybe. Or not of my. my uh, damn it! Let it go. Right. Not of my clan. <laughs> Brain. And also, what could you? What would you say if I was to ask you for training some point in the future? She's still stretching, and she kind of pauses for a moment, like, hmm. Uh, like when specifically? What you gonna set down roots here in Lapland and? Uh, just take your sweet time. What the hell are you doing here, anyway? Uh, our friend of ours took a bit of damage, and we needed to find a healer. Uh, I half work knew to come this route, and we ran into Ged. Yeah, he does that. Uh, was it the halfling who got hurt this time? Surprisingly, no. It was our uh, dragonborn, tiefling actually. Blinks again. Her foot this time. Maybe you should give that plate armor to her. I don't think she could hold the, hold herself up with it. She's about as dainty as I am. She's kind of 
shows that he's definitely not muscular. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, so what what specifically are you looking to build yourself up on? You're trying to build your charisma skill. You're trying to be the light on your feet, even though you're already pretty stealthy yourself. Uh, more acrobatics. I uh, used to be good, but uh, it's been a while since my circus days. Mommy knows acrobatics. I was going to say, didn't you just teach someone acrobatics? Apparently he doesn't have proficiency. I don't have proficiency. I know acrobatics. <laughs> yeah, you you can't talk right now, Mrs. Real Quick. Yeah, I can yeah. do acrobatics. Watch me, Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I'm well, not as fluid as I used to be. Why don't you ask that Dragonburn friend of yours? I bet he's light on his feet. <laughs> I mean, he is now. But she doesn't know that. She's just saying it like uh, this joke. Well, he, he, this bundle's like. Well, he probably won't charge you through the nose. Mm -hmm. Winks. That may be so, but he's not what we are. And I know that you will actually put me to the test. Oh. Slink, like, starts crawling f face first down the tree using his Comes, like, Spider Man, like, Spider Man 1 close to you. And what are we? <laughs> Shit. What you go? Wow, wow. Jesus Christ. I guess if Ronya wasn't going to do it, someone had to. You're all fired. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Shots by you. Fired. The bundle just kind of smirks and says, two very capable and very handy fighters, and one, and, and in my case, one who recognizes talent when he sees it. Hmm. Unless you, you want me to act more like the, the halfling, he says with a wink. <laughs> what is Nah, I'm afraid he tried to feel me up. I did not! <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> you won't hear this from half a mile away. <laughs> no. Well, he does say that. <laughs> Unless that's what you're in, what you're into, and that way we can, if that's the case, we can cut the gold price in half. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Flicks you in the nose, their claw. Mm -hmm. Now, now. Cat trash fever. <sighs> like, like as she's crawling down, she lets her her hind claws loose and just like does like a, is like, uh, a front. Like a front fall forward, like feet first, like overhead, and lands on the ground. Like, ah, crack, crack. Hmm. When would you want this? Because I doubt you're sticking. Oh, not now, obviously. <laughs> Too many things on our on our plate. You but... ensure you're going to survive your next journey? I mean. You are getting awful hurt recently. I might, I might even be worried for you once in a while when I think about you. You think about me, huh? He said with a raised brow. Yeah, you know when I get bored and. <laughs> I'm gonna roll insight on that. <laughs> that laugh in the background is me at the moment. Damn it! <laughs> Damn, I'm not that. Damn, she thinks about going out when she's bored, huh? Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. But at any rate, he's gonna be like, well, I guess it's more the set up the 
set up what I want now and message you when I actually have the downtime. Message me, eh? What? You don't want to have a uh, have a message from from the ranger before you? You got that much spell casting up your up your furry sleeve? I mean, I'm no mage, but I get around. <laughs> All right then. Just so you know. Two gold a day. Uh, so, it'll run you a minimum 60 gold. Eh, fair is fair. He says as he holds out his paw to shake her hand. Pulls out her paw, pats your head. Good boy. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> God damn it, Ron. <laughs> you know what? I'll go ahead and do it. Oh, God. What have you done, Ronya? What has he done? What oh, no. is he? What? What? I don't have a sound bite for this, but you know that growl you make? Uh, a... Rawr. No. Rawr. <laughs> I think Rania was attempting it, but yeah. <laughs> like purring? No, not that. Jesus. <laughs> that growl. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. You trying to do the tig? You trying to do the tigger growl? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or you want to do? Or you want to do a Roddy McDowell from that darn cat amusing his pigeons? <laughs> 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 version of wolf whistling is. Yes, exactly. Cat whistling, I guess it will be in this case. Like that one episode of Looney Tunes where uh, Witch Hazel Cat turns calling. Where Witch, where Witch Hazel turns pretty and the man in the mirror is like rah, rah. Rah, So fierce. Mm, that's the charisma check. Sure. Is, this cat, but, is this cat calling? Yeah, I guess uh, this is cat calling. <laughs> Oh god, no. Well, none of y'all, no one else is there to really comment. I know. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rania is trying to find Roll charisma. Sentry. Roll charisma, okay. Rania's still being chased. <laughs> Rania, come on. It comes out as like, it comes out like as a light purring. Like... And she like grins like, ah, you're cute. Flicks you in the nose again. You're gonna get down. You're gonna get so hard. All right. Uh, I guess you know how to get a hold of me. You gotta find him first. Points to get is they. Ah, hello, Kira. I've made ah. Poomp. Monk, get. I think we just gotta follow the falling monk. Shouldn't be that hard to pick up that trail. Please, the monk doesn't fall. Fair enough. The monk glides with style. <laughs> and he looks over to Ged, so that's gliding with style. That's just not a monk. <laughs> Leap, she does a jump frog over you and like... Rip, rip. Hmm. And it moves toward him. Eh, the tail swishing backward. I think Bundle may need a dip in that uh, that river now to cool himself down. <laughs> I just imagine Rania sitting there with like a with like a coconut shell. Like, so you need assistant in the art of seducing the ladies? Well, boy, can I help you? <laughs> That was a pretty accurate zap rag. Oh, my God. Five <laughs> points. Ten points. If you mm -hmm. reaction to that, yes. if I needed help, I would definitely not be asking you. <laughs> <laughs> the imaginary Rania disappears from the river. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in your head. 
Let's see, where is that bard? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the cart dash, is just watching the tidal wave of children chase Bear on you with a chuckle. Ah! Best idea ever. It really was. Ranya starts running at Dash. No. Dash. Oh, running at Dash proud. with the wave of children in tow. Dash gives Ranya a look of, do it, I dare you. You got it, Dash. It's Ranya patient. keeps running. Ranya keeps running. Dash, you know how to he changes back into halfling form and uses his halfling nimbleness. To move between his legs. There are still two children hanging on to you. <laughs> oh, I that think means I can make a strength check now. Dash yep. or Ronnie? Make that strength saving throw, Dash. Wait, me? Dash, you now have uh, you now have a one d eight. No wait, hold up. He's I still got momentum, that. Dash. Fair enough. Yeah. Strength saving throw. Wait, strength like save. This? And is Feliana giving me inspiration for it? Yep. Enjoy that inspiration. <laughs> Use <laughs> that inspiration! Jesus! It's a D8. Done! Oh, 16! 16. <laughs> Alright, you manage to just hold slightly to you. You get pushed back, but Rania still gets caught. He's like, uh, 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 and the. Right here, catch him! Ah! <laughs> well, the thing is, they're gonna dogpile on top of you too, Dash, because you're in the way, because he is currently trapped in between, just beyond your legs, by the two children Dash. who are wrapped around your legs. Dash is gonna hold his ground and try to stay. Oh, you raise his hand and then taps himself on the cheek. Ah! Yeah, let's see that. That's with disadvantage, because you are in plain view of everyone. <laughs> so that's an eleven. <laughs> Roll for the My children. Cousin. Yeah, the children <laughs> see you. <laughs> ah! Alright, what am I what am I rolling to hold my ground? Another strength save. You don't have inspiration. Hey, this time. That's what I like to you see. You don't need it. <laughs> exactly. Bundle, I'm going to need your You are help just with an immortal pillar things. amongst the children as they just move maneuver around you like the wave that they are and just all dog pile on Rania. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Roger's head slowly uh, slides. Roger's head slowly falls down into the hand of the children. Then he gives the thumbs up like uh, the end of Terminator <laughs> 2. <laughs> After about a minute, they're like, they're like, hey, this is fun, this is fun, yeah. And they all just uh, disperse, like, da, 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 and there's just Ryan just sitting there. He's all tangled up like an octopus. Like, uh. No, you got, like, you got, like, the cartoon beaten up symbols, where, like, there's, like, like just, you're just, like, disheveled and, like. I have owls, like, da flying around my head. Dashigan is gonna. Dashigan is gonna pick Ronnie up and say, now you know what happens when a wave of water crashes against a mountain. Dash. It doesn't work out for that wave of water. By this Especially point, if that mountain has uh, has a little help. <laughs> By this point, that. Bundle has walked back. Now you didn't go, Bundle. He only has a smile on his face. Ranya reaches up and pokes Dashigan right in the nostril. Inside <gasps> his nostril. Oh! Does Ew. that feel like acid in there? No, it's know. it's not. It's okay. slightly <laughs> slightly more stingy snot, but it's still snot. Dash, because he was holding Radia up off the ground, it just drops Radia. That. <laughs> <laughs> Punk! Ow, my ass! Hold on a second. Ow, my pinky! Hold on. Remember, you were six feet off. The yeah. Ground. Okay, not bad. You, yeah, you you managed to land safely with your on your feet. You're like, heh, heh. You look at your finger. There's some green slime with a little bit of acrid smoke coming off the top of it. Ryan yeah. <laughs> wipes it on Dashigan's pants and then walks away. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Bundle actually comes back with with some ideas. Ryan looks over at Bundle. I mean, uh, yeah, Bundle. And so. Ranya uh, wiggles his eyebrows. 
Bundle, Bundle looks at him and says, I don't see why you're giving me that look. You're about to be put to work. Hey, what? Mm, shit. Yeah. <laughs> what? What's the plan, boss man? What's the plan? Cat. If I can actually, you know. You, as he looks over to to Ranya and says, "You, you will help the the people here grow some crops a little bit faster, since we're going to be here for a little bit, a little while, and we'll need some leverage in terms of how we're going to stay here. We just you camp nearby them without a little bit of a tribute, I would think. Do, do they want my help? Well, I have to find out. Well, I'll just say, be ready to do that. Um, Fel, uh-huh. since you're going to be a bit more out of commission, I think you can maybe play music for the elderly and the children? Damn straight! Um, uh, run your way, the children, points at the tall teething lady. Look at her tail! They've dispersed by now. Uh-huh. They're, uh, uh, yeah. like, spread so far and, and, and wide. And Dash was about yeah. to say, hey, she's crippled. Okay, yeah. And I'm... I'm five foot three, man. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm not tall at all. And then he looks over to Dash and says, "You will be doing the uh, more heavy lifting if they ever need any." More Dash is going to look around to see if there's any heavy lifting that needs to actually be done. You see the dinosaur is still doing his job. Dinosaur. I'm gonna go hang out with that dinosaur. Uh, if they have anything that actually needs lifting or someone. Of my strength, I guess. Sure. I mean, if there's anything else that can't be done, you can try to beat them all at arm wrestling. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> A couple children come up. He looks over to Talik. You're you're naturally a farmer, aren't you? I cannot hear what you said. Okay. Well, I'm sure you can be more of a help than anyone else aside from Rania. You can help them find better ways to farm, and Rania can hit quick in the pace. Or I can enhance else, your just... soil, but I can't farm the land. If anything else, extra farmhand never hurts. Exactly. As for me, I'll uh, I'll be gathering information about the area. As well as anything else that we can get our hands in in terms of jobs. Only so it's in the easy job. Got it. Third level spells. Considering all the L that has happened so far, and how things have gone, I think I need to have more of a situation of uh, at least gathering gathering what we need a little bit better on better than. Oh, we, than I was just giving so you shit. All right. All right. Now that a plan is together, the sun is still high in the air. The children are still playing and laughing, and the sound of joy is in the air. You all disperse to your tasks, and we will end the session right there. Uh, did Bundle want to do his line of questioning first, though? To uh, it's gonna be the dash. And... Yeah. But it was more of a him finding out about Dragonborn type thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we can quick do that. Okay. Because I do have stuff planned for that now. Okay. But he says, but, but before you go, uh, maybe you and Belxis can uh, humor me. Uh, Belxis sure, groggily but... looks like, uh... I'll give you wine. Narrows her eyes. Whiskey? Nods. Mm. Okay. <laughs> what do you need, Bundle? Well, as far as my notes go, you see, he says as he pulls out the stacks of parchment he's been writing on. I really don't know as much about Dragonborn as I'd like to know. Ah. So, for instance, and I am actually asking this, what what type of dragon are you? And he says as he looks over to Belxis. Ryan looks over to Belxis, too. I think Bundle's separated and is uh, doing yeah. this separately. 
So. Yeah, you said you're gonna go off and visit with the dinosaur. Okay. Make up your yeah. mind. Okay. Rania feeds the dinosaur some good berries. <laughs> Relationship <laughs> with dinosaur up one rank. Yay! But yeah, he straight up asked, like, what type of dragonborn are you? She's picking her teeth. I'm special. Mm. Clearly. Has and... Dash ever heard of, like, multi-typed or, or hybrid uh, color dragonborn before who have, like, the best of both worlds, basically. Yeah, I'll actually say your father was a hybrid dragonborn. What did fire and Hold on, make which an father? Time? The illegitimate one, or... The one who raised you. he thinks he is? Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, that's it's, right. It's, 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 it's not common, but it's not, like... Yeah, it's it's not like... It's kind of like uh, being able to, like... Uh, I don't know. It's like it's like it's like being ambidextrous. Mm. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hybrid dragonborn dudes. This my father was wasn't just silver. He was a hybrid between silver and gold. But wait, silver best and of gold. Both. Best of both coins. <laughs> I assume the hybrid means they get to use both abilities. No, one of them is dominant, abilities? but the the ah, okay the shading. It'd be really cool if it could be combined. But they yeah. could, but they could live in either dominant environment. Mm. All right. Yeah. He, he, his breath weapon was, I think, a silver dragon's. But in terms of his coloration, he had both gold and silver scales. I want to say silver is I is cold. Silver is the metallic version of a white dragon. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Copper. The ancient blue dragon. Blue dragon is a fix. Metallic, brass, bronze, copper. Gold. Silver is cold breath, yeah. Yep. Well, seeing as you just said that they're gold, you had a gold and silver parents. Is that what you're saying? A gold and silver father, from what I was told, my mother was a dull scale. Okay. It bundled pieces that together in his mind, knowing what he knows from just dragons mating naturally, and then. Now figuring, trying to figure this out with you, since you're a black dragonborn with metallic <laughs> dragon parents. With a, metal with a metallic dragon father, quote-unquote. Yes. Well, no, what he has, but she... Uh, I want to say it was... Someone else rolled an insight on her and thought it was just gold filigree it wasn't actually part of her it was me it was me yeah yeah fell yeah. knows about but you yeah you still think the drag the gold is a part of her but she's actually um but yeah she's like <sighs> i'm black with red heritage black is dominance in my family okay so uh may i he says as he asked for her hand She kind of furs a brow like, what you, Not... wanna, what, you wanna dance? Trust me, yeah. if I wanted to court, I'd be a little, a little bit more cordial, but I just need to see some. Okay, you hand it over. Alright, I am studying your scales, and making notes. So, what would I do to actually find out just w w why she has gold in there just mixed in. Painting. But you don't know that. Mm. Why is it that Bundle does this and he's all like, uh, he, he seems all like scientific and people are really like, oh, he's. he's I misspoke. She's red heritage. with black heritage. So. Red with black heritage. Like her parents were both black, but she came out red. Well, to be fair, Bundle has 
piles upon piles of parchment with notes regarding the subject. Mm. Yeah, sure. I knew you were into that. I knew you were into dragons, but that's a that's a lot of paper. I so wasn't going to go into. Down. I wasn't going to go into finding out about this without at least having some type of knowledge on something else on the matter. Hell, why do you think I did what I did with the brass with the copper dragon that we met? I immediately knew to get, give up what I had. Fair enough. So, Excuse what specifically are you looking for with her with her paws? I'm trying to see. I know that she has red red and black scales. I'm trying to see why there's gold mixed in. Uh, you don't see any evidence of gold on her hands. Okay, where do I see it? You see it explicitly on her face and on her upper arms. Well, I start looking closer towards her upper arms and towards her face. And as right, I have how do you examine? How do you examine it? Yeah, back. All right. Since I have her hand in my hand, I have my other hand at her elbow, looking up, going up along her arm. And when I get to about her shoulder, I start seeing, I'm guessing at that point, I start seeing the gold. Yeah, it's like around where like the shoulder, just over the shoulder connects to the armpit. All right. So it's like right on level with like the armpit level. Where like it's like, uh, where like a ringlet, like a shoulder armlet would be about. And how do you examine it? All right. I let go of her hand. Still having my hand, my other hand on her elbow, reach into my quiver, pull out an arrow, flip it to the feather side, and start looking along where the red and the black and the gold start to meet, and ask, so where did these scales come from? Hmm. Wouldn't you like to know? I actually would. Can Dash roll insight on that? Sure. That's funny, though. That is literally gold dust that she just brushed on her skin. Bundle, you you know how I have these white tattoos, but they're not actually white scales. So yeah, that that's what those are, basically. He looks over back to Belk. Says, "Really? Got it." Class, no. You're really bad at lying. Yeah, that's a nat one on that deception. <laughs> Damn. So bundle just says you're really bad at lying. Shut up. What a bad enough day. I know, and you're getting treated for it, both with medicine and with booze. Angled. And plus, you got to beat the crap out of me, so give me some leeway. I think she wants to beat the crap out of Rania more. Uh, it's just an accessory. It's impressive looking, and actually, it's very hindering because it gives me more attention when I'm not fully covered up. Kind of. Oh, well. Sorry. You're not the only dragonborn we've met who had a thing for gold. <sighs> no, you met you found a you met a dragon who likes gold. What are the odds yeah. of that? I'm, I was talking about Jarrah, the white dragonborn we were with for a while. Yeah, I was real into gold. I just keep forgetting he exists. Yeah. yeah. But I guess I just don't get it, considering your vocation, he says, noting of how how good she is at what she does. Mm -hmm. It would kind of be a dead giveaway on it, wouldn't it? Eh. Hmm. Fashion over function? I don't know. I was just figured it was a cultural thing. I wasn't sure. I have a nightlife. Well, damn. Mm. Hmm. Bundle writes that down. 
Christ. <laughs> that bundle's gonna think dragons go to like nightclubs and shit like that. But I mean, I'm pretty sure Dragonborn nightclub would be kind of awesome, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, Acid little... everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> because <laughs> sus uh, because certain black dragons always get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with this journey? Are we done reading the dragon's future? That's it everywhere. And uh, so, and then Bundle will just go on to press the matter. So this is not a tribal thing. This is just a personal thing, right? Yeah, you found out me secret. Good for you. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna rat you out or anything. <laughs> That's a first. Me Meanwhile, Dash is just like, why is he going to her if I'm the one with the obvious tribal root, tribal roots? A bundle looks over back at you. Oh, don't worry, you're next. <laughs> well, isn't that ominous? Rob just said that. My God. So anyway, he goes back. Oh, he <laughs> turns his attention back to Belks and says, "All right, I think I." have what I need from this. Um, once it starts to become nightfall, I'll pay for a bottle of whiskey for you. We square? Hmm. And just wanders off, keep picking her teeth, and looks for Hygric. He he wandered off into the tribe proper and is like, just interacting with them, just looking at bead at like, a, they have like a little like tent area where they like have beads they're making. He's like, hmm. <laughs> Just scouting pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny. Then Bundle goes over to Dash and starts sketching off the tattoos that he has on his body. So, uh, these got a meaning, or... I mean, they're literally draconic. You can read, right? Yeah, but it just looks like gibberish around, around you, he says, as he's trying to make heads or tails of it. Basically, all these tattoos are, uh, Stories of my ancestors' deeds on my mother's side of the family, Cele celebrating their hero, their heroic acts and sacrifices, celebrating them. Well, noting how battered and bruised you are, he says, noting every single scar on your body. <laughs> then that must have been a bloody tale. The scars are actually another story. Well, it doesn't really quite help with the narrative, he says, as he's trying to figure out what the story is. But... Yeah, the... Go ahead. No, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I got the tattoos before I got the scars, obviously, so... Never really got the chance to fix the tattoos up. I'd say over several mugs of ale. You can tell me a little bit about the tribe and how it works. I won't bother you with it all at the moment, since we're all kind of, uh... uh one, one request. See? If you ask about the scars, I'd rather you ask, ask about them here and now while we're in private. Okay. If you feel like divulging... Why are you so battered and bruised? You remember how I said that Tiamat's Chosen had uh, kidnapped all the youths of my tribe, me included? For, uh, no. For, for Bundle, this is news. Oh. Well, thought I explained this. Oh, he when looked like Tat. He looked like Fell for a second. Oh, shit. <laughs> When Diamat's Chosen raided my village, killed most everyone, they specifically left us youth, us youths alive and uh, took us ho took us hostage and uh, took us to this canyon or cave with a hole in the roof or something. I don't know. I, we were all blindfolded, so... For a while, some of us resisted, but eventually, those of us who did resist were constantly beaten. And eventually, I was the only one actively resisting until, yeah. 
the whole time you're talking, Bumble is writing this down. And he, once you finish, he's like, that is quite the tale. And it would have ended 10 years ago as well if it wasn't from here, but that's a, probably a story for another time. And all the more reason to get back at those bastards, huh? He says he starts to compile his notes back together. Oh, definitely. Especially because they, as far as I'm aware, they still have my sister, though. There are days I fear that she and all the other youths who weren't taken away were uh, converted. All the more reason to do what we can to, to save her from such a fate. Indeed. I can relate to having to be there for family one way or the other. Don't worry, Dash. I I'd stake my life on on helping you with that. And I greatly appreciate it. Besides, I have sisters. To, I've had to look out for sisters too. So, was well, this is no different? Anything else you want to know, or? Hmm. I'd say at this point, I have what I need that would be good enough for public eye. Everything else would be more sensitive information that I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to talk about amongst everyone. Yeah, not sure if I'm, uh, hells, I haven't even, I haven't even told Eliana the brutal details of my time with Tiamat's chosen. It's only six months with them, but it was it was bad. Well, if you feel like divulging, I won't stop you. And if you feel like it should be something kept under wraps, I can understand. He says as he pockets the notebook. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. If if Tiamat's Chosen never gets their hands on you, it won't be pretty. Tiamat's Chosen gets their hands on me. I'm not doing my job right. That's fair. Yeah, all I can remember from back then was being st being virtually starved every day, being beaten around the clock since I was the only one actively resisting and uh, those of us who got taken away with the exception of my sister never came back I must say I can't really I wish I could say I could sympathize but my, uh, my upbringing was a little less warring but you but I'm sorry a little less what? A little less war torn. Ah. But I believe we we've talked enough on uh, topics uh, topics of the risque nature. Yeah. Just to keep Tmet's uh, Tmet's name in our in our in our throats for a little little while, at least while we're among pleasant comp co company. Agreed. So, he says as he looks to everyone else who's still around. Huh? <laughs> I imagine we walked back before you said that. Ronnie is currently riding on top of uh, the uh, the dinosaur. I have no crutches. <laughs> hey, dear. What you do to danger? And on that note, as you guys prepare to chill for the evening, we will end the session right there. Woo! Yay. Yay. I swear to God, mm. next, uh, next session, I will tell Felion's backstory! I want to hear Felion's backstory. Oh no, Dash, she was only two weeks away from retirement. Ah! <laughs> so, who's ready for some peak twins? Yay! Yeah. Let's do this! I was probably right. going to be swapping to Skyrim after this. Alrighty, no problem, man. Thank you all for taking part in uh, Dynamics of Good and Evil. We will be back Maybe perhaps later this week. Um, we'll figure out a schedule and I'll post it to social media when and if it happens. Uh, 
I'm Brett the Wiz. All right. I w- I w- and... Before you close the thing, I'd like to uh, say one thing. If you all want to run your merch, put uh, 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 <laughs> uh, leave a comment on the video. You will take it under consideration. Watch as the comment count goes from zero to negative one. <laughs> no, it's zero to one, but it's Damien Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Stop releasing my uh...